Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Vertical Slice after our five-week hiatus. Has it and really it been has five been cool. weeks? Yes, it has. Believe it or not, every time I've posted on Twitter, <laughs> has been, has been. Hey, uh, we're not recording this week. <laughs> oh, hey, we're not recording this week. Are you sure but... it's been five weeks? I thought it was like three weeks, or four weeks. It, it might be four weeks. I don't remember. But... But it's been a long time. Oh, we've had reasons. I mean, it's not like... Yeah, it's not like we're just like, oh, I don't want to do it, I'm watching Sicario. I don't know what that is. It, it's a movie. Oh, okay. At least that's a pretty it, fucking it, long movie. It's, we can't do this every Sunday. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm watching Mad Max Fury Road, guys. <laughs> I have to watch it every Sunday. At 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. <laughs> um, but we are somewhat professional. Somewhat. Um, my name is Austin Balzer, and for the vertical slice.com, and that is Chris Roberto, aka Heezy. It's interchangeable, really. Yeah, I guess. Might as well just be either one at this point. Yeah. Um, so, what have we been playing? <clears throat> I think, I think since you've got about 700 games here, I think you should go first. Well, to be fair, like, a lot of these starting with, like, Gauntlet you... are, like, arcade games, so. Yeah. It'll just be quick, breezy, yeah. easy, breezy, beautiful, beautiful co- cover girl. Cover girl, <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> um, but the first game I played this week is a little game. It's a little indie game. It's a little indie game from uh, I don't know if you've heard of them. Harmonics? Nope. Have you heard? I have no clue. They're they're definitely brand new. Yeah, brand new. It's not like they've been operating since the 1990s. They haven't. I can guarantee that 100%. <laughs> um, but all jokes aside, I've played the... I wasn't Amplitude. joking. They're brand new. They've never been heard of before. <laughs> Rock Band Blitz. Some people like that. I, I like that. I never it's played it. I'm just saying, I know some people like it. I, I, I couldn't tell you anything about it. I put 20 hours into that game. <clears throat> well, there you go. That was my PSP exclusive best game. Was that PSP? <laughs> yep, PSP exclusive. What was or, the one that was... Rock Band Unplugged. Oh, Unplugged, that's the one I was thinking of. I was thinking of Unplugged. I'm, oh, Blitz was the Xbox Box Live Arcade PSN was it? title. Yeah. I'm think, Where, I, the only one I'm thinking, I'm thinking of the one that was the arcade, you know, the the downloadable one. That's the one I'm yeah, thinking of. Yeah, that, that was downloadable. Okay. Blitz was downloadable, Unplugged was the PSP exclusive. That they're basically the same game, except for one's just like super simplistic, and one actually feels like Rock Band. Well, I I think they probably wanted a, a different audience at some point. But um, Amplitude's kind of the same, <laughs> um, because wow, I am off my game. Uh, <laughs> Amplitude is if you don't know Amplitude. Go turn off this podcast, pause it, go on the PSN, download uh, Amplitude, our first uh, Sony exclusive of the year. It's not on Xbox One or Xbox 360, or even PC. It's not PS3, on PC? PS4. Nope. Oh damn, I thought it was going to PC too. I thought it was too. But they're like, so you have two choices, PS3 or PS4. I'm like, PS4. Yeah, I, of course. Um, go check out my review if you want more in depth stuff. But uh, Amplitude's really, really fun. Uh, it's one of the two games I've played this year <laughs> that are new, and I I really love it. Um, don't expect any licensed tracks though. Um, the best you're gonna get is like Crypto the Necro Dancer stuff, Skullgirl stuff, you know that kind of stuff. Um, but the basic gameplay hook of it is. Kind of like Rock Band Blitz and Rock Band Unplugged, where you're just switching tracks and trying to maintain a score streak. Um, and, yeah. <laughs> and Amplitude. And buy it, because it, I rated it uh, C+. Plus. He rated it, but he likes it. I, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it long time. You like it long time. Yeah, I don't like it long, too. Oh. Oh lord! <laughs> oh, I got my own place now. I can be as lewd as I want. <laughs> you should be as lewd as the world allows it. 
I'm turning it up to 11. Turn it up to 30. Okay, um, it's about to get freak nasty in here. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> don't you know I'm drinking coffee? <laughs> I don't know what's in that. It, it's a Stormtrooper mug. Yeah, but Go I don't know Star what's Wars. inside that. Go see uh, this little indie film called Star Wars The Force Awakens at Alamo Draft House. I recommend don't go seeing this little indie film called Star Wars The Force Awakens. I think it's a waste of your time and money. So I did go see it again. Of course you did. On, on Monday. I actually think it's worse the second time. Really? And and it could not have been a more perfect setting. I went to Alamo Draft House where you cannot talk. You cannot text. You cannot get up from your seat, basically, until the movie's over. And they showed the Empire Strikes Back toy commercials. They joked that, oh, instead of showing you uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens, we're going to show you the Star Wars Holiday Special instead. And then it's like, nah, we wouldn't do that to you. Oh, okay, so they were joking. Yeah, All they were right. joking. That's, that's... Um, but it was super cool seeing like, Star Wars culture. They had a whole uh, vignette about, like, this is your life. C-3PO. Oh, like, had a whole thing. Like, there's apparently a Star Wars droids uh, cartoon series. Recently or, just, or, like, or in the past? In, in 1980. Okay, I was going to say, I don't remember that. I mean, I'm a major fan of Star Wars in any way, shape, or form, but I, I think I would remember that recently. Well, and like, yeah. Um, because I remember seeing Blockbuster VHSs for it, so I was like, yeah, I guess that was a thing. Interesting. Um, but the second time, th- after I walked out the second time, and again, this couldn't have been a more perfect experience for a Star Wars fan. Um, like, I got a baked pretzel and a bottomless popcorn, which, dude... The thing, the bowl was the size of my face. You've got a small face. Okay, the size of my computer. Okay, I can't say. I have no idea how big the computer is, so. Well, the I'm size going to have of to a. Believe you. The size of a side table. So what you're saying is it's large. It's large. It's 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 large and deep. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know anything about that. <sighs> No, you don't. I definitely don't. Um, but it, the second time um, I walked out, um, well, I didn't walk out in the middle of it because I'm not a dick. Um, so you mean the second the movie was over? Yeah, the second the movie was over, I was like, huh, that was the best piece of Star Wars fan fiction I've ever seen. <laughs> like, seriously, because it's just like, oh, it's just like a New Hope. Okay, cool. That's what I keep hearing everyone saying. It's literally they, they like they just said, okay, well, let's make exactly the original Star Wars movie and just make it prettier. Yeah, and I promised people I wouldn't go into spoilers, so I'm not going to go into spoilers. Yeah, because don't, don't do that. I don't want to do that to people. Um, I've also been playing the Playroom, that cheap little... Well, not cheap, it's free. Um, to well, anyone that, who owns That's the, cheap to me. Cheap, cheap. Um, but I I use that little pack in for the PlayStation camera now I have one. Um, eh, it's all right. I'll allow it. It exists. It exists. I, I'm not gonna buy the DLC even if it was free. <laughs> well, I mean, because if it's free. I I buy things for, that are free on DLC that literally have I have zero interest in. Do you want this giant dildo bat in Saints Row? Here you go, it's free. Oh, well, if that, listen, I would, I use the dildo bat. I use it, just shove it right up in there. I use it all the time, the thing is huge. It's very veiny, too. Yeah, it's it's really veiny. And it's it's got the balls on the the bottom, so. Yeah, it's very uh, flaccid. I don't know, I think it's, I think it's. Just, just, just slow circle jerking it. If you swipe, if you, if you uh, swing it really quickly, it's very hard, though. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I guarantee that. Uh, but anyways, uh, it's a, it's a trophy horror game. Let's be honest. The the easiest way to get trophies. Is it really? Yeah, it's like you can just kick a robot, and it's like, huh? Hey, you got a trophy. Hey, you covered up the light bar on the PS4. Okay, you got a trophy. Oh Jesus! <laughs> like. I, I still haven't got do you, that. Do you need a camera to have it actually work? To have the actual, like, can it... Um, 
not not exactly, but if you want to do the things like kick the robots. Okay, or... yeah, well, yeah, that would make sense. But I mean, like, if I if I turned it on, could I cover up a light bar just to have it have a trophy happen? You you probably could. I don't think it relies on that. Interesting. Um, but I I think it should be fine. Um, it's fine. Uh, but anyways. Uh, I played uh, The Order, 1886, eh, I, and I promptly deleted it. The Order, 1880 sucks, you mean? The 1880 fucks? No, that means, some people like fucking. Yeah. Who doesn't? I know some people. <laughs> it's, just, uh, it's just not the right time for me right now. Believe me, I, I know some people. Yeah, fuck them. Well... Don't. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've been raped as a little kid, and, and I don't think I'm, I'm... I'm personally not ready for that right now. Oh, uh, oh Jesus. <laughs> um, but I, I, I deleted the order to make way for better games. Did you beat the order? No. Yeah, you probably don't need to. Yeah, just, if, like, just set aside four hours of your day and watch a Let's Play <laughs> one day. I, I'm I'm really thinking about it, and I got more, way more trophies than I thought I would. It's I, it's one of the easiest platinums. Yeah, like I I think Until Dawn's a pretty easy platinum. Yeah, but w- with Until Dawn, you have to do multiple things. With the order, you can literally play it through in one time. With, Next Friday, with, uh, with Until Dawn, you have to. Play it multiple times. And you can watch that Platinum stream next Friday at 7 p.m. CST on twitch.tv slash vertical slice live. Yep, what he said. I was going to try and say it cooler, but I, I lost my my thing there and it didn't work. You lost your hook? Yeah, I, I was, something was working in my brain and then I, I don't know. It just didn't work out. Uh, yeah, I was going to try, try and put on a voice, but like my lungs wasn't, wasn't going to allow it. And today... He is playing until dawn. Platinum. Platinum, platinum. Uh, plat, 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 plat. <laughs> um, I've also been playing some of that, their dive kick yeah. edition. On edition. the worst system. You know, you, you know, I've been playing on Vita. Oh, have you? So I was yeah, right. I, so I was right. <laughs> yeah, I played it on the Vita after a, a, a New Year's haze, if you will. I thought you got... Didn't you get it on PS4, or is it uh, cross-buy? It's cross-buy. Okay, I was going to say. I, I, I don't know I, I don't know if the cross-buy works on PS3 as well, um, but I do know it works PS4 and Vita. And I think it's cross-save, too. Hmm. I'm, a, I'm a fan of Dive Kick. It's just, unfortunately... Well, I bought it, like, twice, dude, so... You have? I have it on... Oh, I, PC? I, I, have it, I have it on PC. Yeah. yeah. I don't count um, those. When I get my Xbox One, I'll probably buy it. You should, cause because then we'll actually be able to play it. Yeah, we'll be able to dive and kick yeah. together. Oh, time. um, have you played local on Dive Kick? No, I wish. No one wants to play that game with me. So uh, I was browsing around the Vita uh, version of the game, and apparently you can uh, do local um, play on the same screen. Really? Yeah, you can... Because it's just two buttons, I imagine you can do oh, left, with the right. D-pad? Oh no! Yeah, well, well, no, that wouldn't be D-pad because you'd have to move. No, but yeah, d- maybe left analog stick, like left side of the screen, right side of the screen. Well, because I you're mean, only... technically you're not moving like with a stick, but I mean, hmm, maybe you. You're could only be... going up and down. Yeah, maybe you could use the D-pad and just have you know. Yeah, like you can set dive or kick to whatever button. Right. So I guess, yeah, maybe that actually would work, just by holding one side each. Because yeah. you don't, t- you don't, in if you don't know in dive kick, anyone listening, you, you don't yeah. actually move yourself. Literally, the only thing you can do in the game is jump and then kick, and that's how you or, move across. The, that's how you move around the screen. So it's like a strategic fighting game. Jump kick coming to a PSN near you. Jump attack. <laughs> Jump attack. <laughs> dive kick. It's a fun uh, game, I'm telling you. People need to go out and buy Dive Kick on Xbox One. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we can, so definitely. We can play. 
And definitely, if you got an Xbox One, play with that there zombie Heezy on Xbox Live. Seriously, man, I'm trying to get these fucking online tr- achievements, and no one's playing the goddamn game anytime I want to play it. Is it? Do you think it's on Xbox 360? I don't know. It, I feel like it is. Let me do a quick that there Google. I get it, man. Clickety clack clack. Bring bring the show back. Bring the show back. I think it is on 360. I'm looking it up as well. Oh, good. My internet's as shitty no, as I not. thought it is. It's only on Xbox One. Okay. Unless this, web- my- unless this website is lying to me. What website did you go to? Xboxachievements.com. Oh, okay. They don't lie to anybody. They really don't. They really don't. They really don't. Mm. Uh, and then I've also been playing uh, Vita Game of the Decade, Taco Master. The amount of fucking like <laughs> fake fake praise for this game is 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 like disgusting to me. No, it's just it. it, it I'll be honest. I, I played it because of Greg. Right, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I think people only like this game because, let's be honest here, they're sheeple. Yeah, like... Like, let's be honest here. I'm not saying you can't like the dude, but this is a complete also, sheeple game. Yeah, and it was also... They're all, also the other... I can't speak. Wow. Uh, the other reason... Uh, I bought it because, well, it was after New Year's and I wasn't making the best decisions. Well, okay. There you go. Um, because I was like, hey, I got my Vita here. Let's buy the Taco Master. Beep. That was a... That was a weird Bill Cosby. <laughs> I'm gonna break that. God that damn was a, That was a 19-year-old Master. white Bill Cosby. <laughs> you imagine Bill Cosby's got a Vita? Uh, I don't think Bill Cosby has anything a lot where he's at right now. <laughs> <laughs> Currently sitting in the jail cell, I think. Trouble, 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 trouble. Trouble and been gone since he came around. It's an unfortunate situation we found ourselves in today. Yep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love this podcast. We can just bullshit all day. Um, I've also played like two seconds of Uncharted Golden Abyss, so we can just move on from that. Every time it's... I think about that game, like going back and playing it, I think I'm ha- I had almost no fun. Uh, uh, sh- that's that's not true. I shouldn't say that. I think like uh, I don't know. I don't since it's been so long. I, I'm pretty sure I haven't said it on this podcast since we haven't been here for like four weeks. Uh, when it comes to Uncharted Golden, Ab- Golden Abyss, since it was free on. PS Plus with the Vita, I constantly would say, well, you should go back and play that, you should go back and play that, but I, That's my thing, I was so bored by playing Uncharted 1 and 2 that, like, I just can't go back and play that. I don't know, like, I and want that, to, but I don't. Well, every time I look at my Vita, I look at it in disdain, knowing that Uncharted's just sitting there. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Like, I have a folder that has, you know, retail downloadable games, and I have a whole bunch, and I'm just like, oh, it's it's there. That's why I keep it on there. That's why I waste the three gigs of space on that small memory card, because I think, oh, maybe one day you'll want to play it. Yeah, it's it's definitely a standard B game. Um, because it's just like, go, go into this place, uh, shoot these guys, and now trapeze with this touch controls, which I finally figured out how to do. Uh, looking at at old old review, I think uh, I think Uncharted is is in my opinion just like Star Wars. If you didn't play it, or okay, like I'll reference Star Wars first. Star Wars I feel is only good to the people who grew up with it. Because honestly, yeah. as someone who didn't grow up with Star Wars, if you watch the movies now, it's really difficult for me to see someone say how great these movies are because they're really not. They are truly they're really not. But if you grew up with that nostalgia, you can overlook so much. And, we, and oh, I yeah. do it with a million things. People do it with everything. I'm just saying with Star Wars, I think it's such a huge and, uh, pandemic with that line of thinking that yeah. Force Awakens isn't as good as... That's what it's called, right? Force Awakens? Yeah. I was going to say Force Unleashed, but that's the video game. Uh, R.I.P. 
Force Awakens, I think, is not a great movie, but it is if you're a Star Wars fan. And that's why people are, like, flipping out that it's not an Oscar nomination. And are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yeah. People? But anyway, that's what I'm talking about with, with Uncharted. Since I didn't play I mean, Uncharted... I mean, Oscar for Oscar, but... Oh, Lord. Since I didn't I mean, play Uncharted when they came out on PS3, and my first exposure to them was Golden Abyss in 2012... And then, like, not really playing it, and then playing uh, Nathan Drake Collection last year. Mm-hmm. After of playing the original reboot of Tomb Raider, the games yeah, are yeah. just, it's such a boring slog to get through them. And I only got, like, a third of the way through two, and I was just like, I can't do this anymore. I'm having no fun. I f- I'm doing it just so I can feel, just so I can feel like I'm accomplishing something. And I'm just having no mm-hmm. fun. I think Tomb Raider... Because it was, a, in my opinion, a much better Uncharted. It took what Uncharted did and made it better, and that's what Uncharted did with the original Tomb Raider. Because I wasn't there at the jump. I, th- I feel like that's why I'm just so bored to tears with it. Yeah, and that, that's something and I'm And then I played definitely... Rise of the Tomb Raider, and good lord, just fuck you. I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what you know, uh, at that point, Uncharted 4 better be fucking God's gift, and I think it's going to be exactly what I was saying. It may not be better than Rise of the Tomb Raider, but because these people grew up or, or started with Uncharted, it's going to be just because they're there with it. Yeah, um, I definitely think Rise of the I'm, I'm looking forward to Rise of the Tomb Raider. It's so, so good. Man. It is so good. And that might even be a thing where I might buy that Rise of the Tomb Raider bundle. You should, man. I'm telling you. When it, uh, I'll look in April, um, March 28th after I watch Batman vs. Superman for like the first time. <laughs> um, because I'm not seeing that day one. There's no way. I'm not. I like just put me in a coma. <laughs> just I, I don't like being in the theater with a million people like freaking out, especially those types of movies. Well, why do you think I went to Alamo Draft House to see Star Wars? I don't know what that is. I'm assuming it's a high scale theater. It, it's a really really expensive theater. I spent like fifty bucks there. Jesus fucking Christ! You're on you're on crack cocaine. Well, because they serve food there. So it like the food was like twenty three dollars. Yeah, but then then that means you spent you know twenty seven dollars on a ticket. I, I also might have uh, bought some Star Wars memorabilia. Oh on lord! There. Like a Mondo shot glass, or not m- shot glass, pint glass. Okay, I was gonna say a shot glass. You're only you're only nineteen. I'm only twenty. Oh, whatever you are. You just... <laughs> listen, you just had a birthday within the last two months. I think I deserve a little leeway mm-hmm. on that. Four months yeah. is the cutoff. <laughs> yeah, it's the, that's the point where we're like, all right, you're fucking up. <laughs> uh, but, uh... So, yeah, that's my, that's my thoughts on Star Wars and, and Uncharted. And speaking, I, I guess... No, no, no segue here. Yeah, speaking um, of being uh, live right now. Be, yeah, us. speaking of being live, Guitar Hero Live. Um, I bought this on the Amazon sale because 50 bucks is just the right price point for this game. Um, uh, oh my I, god, sorry. I was thinking that was the old one. <laughs> oh, I, when you said I bought this on the Amazon sale, I'm like, what the fuck, Amazon sale? And I forgot that was the one that just came out. Yeah, um... I'm sorry, did I say game? I meant service. Yeah. That's right. No, it's not game. It's a service. Oh, and did you know... Well, I'm sorry, it's creepier. When it snows, I... I... Oh, go ahead. Um, <laughs> you cannot resell Guitar Hero Live. You can't, you can't um, trade it in. Really? The, the disc is marked not for resale. Oh, but aren't all games like that? No. The only um, ones that say that are ones that are bundled in with a console bundle. That's what I mean. So, like, because it was bundled with something, isn't it? I mean, I've sold not for resale discs. Yeah, but you can't buy Guitar Hero Live separately. You can't just buy the main game. Right, that's what I mean. Like, brand new, you can't resell this. But, like, you can't take the guitar out and resell it. But you can trade it in. Yeah, Yeah, you can probably trade in, like, as a bundle, but they can't sell the game. They they can't sell the... They, GameStop cannot sell that game unless they get a new pressing. Interesting. Because the back of the box, I will show you, 
I'll, I'll knock my microphone and my coffee over, but I'll show you that it says not for resale. Well, I'm not saying it doesn't. I'm just saying that you might be able to sell the disc just by itself. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, but it's like the box. You can sell with the box. Interesting. Because I think... If you need a standalone guitar for uh, the Wii U, it's only $50. Yeah, and and from T-Mobile, you can lease it. What? You can, like, pay, like, $2 a month. And, um... Get up, uh, what, uh, up until what? Up until what price? Up until you pay it off. Oh, really? Yeah. That's that seems very uh, consumer friendly. Why would they do that? They make no money off. Because it. the t- uh, Guitar Live is on Android and iPhone. Hmm. Seems weird to me. Like they're not going to make you pay up to a hundred dollars. No. It's weird. I mean, good for them. Yeah, good for them. Cheerio. Um, I don't. I don't know why my GameStop is taking so forever to load, but whatever. That's alright. Um, still shitty internet, so yay. Even though I paid thirty four dollars for it. <laughs> um, but Guitar Live is really underrated. Um. I encourage you, if you have, like, a demo station out there, guys, um, at GameStop or Best Buy. I think Best Buy had them. Yeah, I, because they also have, like, Octodad on display for the PS4, so. What? They, they, that's one of the demos they have in their kiosk, is Octodad. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, I thought you meant they just had a station specifically set up to Octodad. Dude, I would buy that booth from them. <laughs> Why? You hated Octodad. I, I hate it, but I'll just be like, hey, look, I got this little squid. I want to like Octodad based on the premise. I really do too, man. But watching people play it, and they're like having this grand old time, I'm thinking, you're not really having fun. You're laughing at how bad the game is, but you're you're interpreting it as it's fun. Because it just looks like so awful to play. It, it really is. It's like, That's why I can't wait until it's free with PlayStation Plus or Games with Gold. Probably next month. So oh, maybe. Or I'd be okay with that. Because they, well... I'm hoping Games with Gold next month is fucking Rocket League. Yeah, it, because did they say February? For... Yeah, they said February. They didn't give a date. Did, I don't think it's going to be the, if, the, the beginning. I think it's going to be the middle one. If they, if they didn't give a date, it's going to be February 1st. I, I don't know. I, th- I feel like if, if it's going to come out, if it comes out in the middle of the month, I feel like if they tell us in the, uh, I don't know how the days line up. Let me look at that. Because the days line up. It, it, it would go. The f- yeah. The 16th is a Tuesday. Mm-hmm. So maybe I'm thinking if they tell you it comes out on the 16th or 17th, I feel like that would be the mid month games with gold. Yeah. But I, I feel like you'd want to put it out in front. Oh, I don't disagree. But at the same time, I think Rocket League, people already know, exists, so. Mm. You can't. Either way, I just, I think it's a major, if you've read anything I've talked about over the past couple articles, uh, or on this podcast. Yeah. I think it's a huge mistake to not have that be free. Yeah. Um, and, and even so, it's still like, it's, it's premium price. Right, it's 20 bucks, and I, I don't know, I, it's, and as I said, I would love to see on PlayStation, because PC you can't count, because PC gamers will buy anything at any price. And you can also, like, return it at a dime. Right, in, in, a, in a split second without any questions asked. So, like, I feel, I, 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 I'm super interested in seeing how much PlayStation actually sold mm-hmm. out of PlayStation Plus and out of a discount. I want to see, I'm very curious the numbers of how many $20 games they sold versus... Probably, like, negative five. Where they're at the $8 million mark at this point now. Um, I, I would assume that PC is going to be 80% of the audience. Uh, po- very possibly, but I mean, PlayStation 4 has a pretty robust audience, but they also got it for free that month. Yeah. So, and it's been on sale since. So you're talking about just purely Like, tech. I just want to know, yeah, I want to know what your base $20, how many games sold at $20 versus how many sold at PlayStation Plus, how many sold on PC, and how many sold at the discount. Yeah, um... Which I don't know what the discount was because I already had it, so it didn't show. Yeah, so I think it was like twenty well, percent. Probably fifteen bucks. Yeah, on sale. So even then, 
uh, on Steam, yeah, I was 15 for a while. Um, I also played, a, oh, yeah, but Guitar Alive, <laughs> um, yeah. it's pretty good. Um, I just recommend you try it. I'm not going to qualify it or anything like that. Same thing with... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a rhythm game. You know, Guitar Hero or Rock Band, you should... Yeah, like, like it. Uh, and the, the weird thing that I was surprised about is I got calluses from playing that game. Jesus. No, I'm not, like, it feels like an actual guitar. And you're doing bar chords. And I'm just like, oh, this is interesting. This is new, because that was my problem with Rock Band 4, and why I didn't buy it. When, even when it, the band in the box uh, went on sale for, like, gangbusters. Um, obviously, the price wasn't gangbusters, but it's figure of speech, y'all. Uh, speech figures. Speech of figures, yep. Um, but, um, but, like, it, that six-button thing is just phenomenal. And... You're playing songs like Avril Lavigne's Here's to Never Growing Up, uh, My Songs Know What You Did in the Dark, uh, Anthem by the 1975, um, <clears throat> Everybody Talks by Neon Trees. Um, <laughs> you are saying so many things that make absolutely no sense to me. <laughs> so if you're a music fan, you'll love this game. Because it, I, I guess I'm not. It's really, it, it's really diverse. There's the local... Stop playing Guitar Hero and Rock Band right now, please. <laughs> no, that's actually a train. <laughs> um, but Rock Band 4, uh, it just didn't do enough for me, you know? It, it, it was just like, hey, we're Rock Band 3.5. Um, I mean, you could say that about any of those games, Guitar Hero well, no, Rock but Band, guitar- back in the day. But Guitar Hero Live, it's it completely... Well, right, no, no, right. I'm, I mean, like with the progression of what they were at the time. Yeah, and I was talking to some people over on Facebook about it, and I'm like, you know, do you think they'd make a sequel? And they're like, no, it's just going to be a service. Yeah, that makes sense at this point. I mean, I don't I don't have a problem with Rock Band being sequelized. Just, I do. And I don't give a shit about these types of games, let that be clear, obviously. But, I mean, with Rock Band, I feel like it's going for a different type of thing, well, I... where Guitar Hero is, is trying to be different. Or at the time, they were just both trying to be the same thing. I think when you have this dedicated fan base that's playing your game, and then they, they boot up the game, and they're like, well, where's our DLC? Where, where, how do we get to the new songs that you put in there? How, how, how do I know what I purchased? How, what's different, right? Um, and they're just like, well, it's Rock Band 3. It's, rock, it's, it's the Rock Band you know and love. And I'm just like, I'd, I had some affection, but all that's gone now. I think with Rock Band, that, that's what people wanted. They wanted a game that they knew and loved. I think with Guitar Hero, people were already getting tired of it by the time Rock Band 3 had come out, and Guitar Hero was just like the lower tier. No one was, it was the, you know, the Pepsi to the cup, yeah, I want to call it that. I had that argument last night. Because right. the service lady was like, do you, what do you want to drink? And I saw Coke and Pepsi, and I was like, Coke. Because I'm not a motherfucker. Pepsi's the best. But I mean, like, in regards to what Rockman and, and Guitar Hero were and are now currently, I feel like back when they were a hit, you know, before they went away for five years, it, it was, Rockman was the leader because this is what people wanted, and it was making everything better, and Guitar Hero was just like the second... The B tier, you know, it's this trying to be the exact same thing, and it wasn't working out for them. Well, and I even played the last one, Warriors of uh, Rock, I think it was. Um, and I was just like, this is the same, the same game as Guitar Hero Three. Right, and with Rock Band, I think that's what people want. They want to feel the familiarity, and Guitar Hero wasn't gonna garner any, you know, uh, what not ill will. But they would garner ill will if they tried to do the same thing they did before. Guitar Hero was the one that needed to be different. Yeah. Rock Band didn't. But you think after all the progress they made with Rock Band 3, that just going back on it was kind of odd. I don't disagree, but only... But I will counter that by saying that because there was such a long break 
in between three and four mm-hmm. that y- people who were already fans of this were going to jump on no matter what anyway. Yeah. But they needed to garner a new audience, and clearly that's what they're gonna, that's what they're going for by having it be, you know, a little bit toned down, but allowing you, general consumer, to bring everything over again and say, listen, this is what you wanted. You wanted the game back or coming back, and you could take everything you had before. Yeah, Guitar Hero needed to, needed to be different because they weren't they weren't winning last time. It was a rock band because they were. Uh, they were the ones who created Guitar Hero when they left. Yeah. Um, and definitely after Guitar Hero 3, it was like, boom. Yeah. Um, but I really think the TV aspect of it is really interesting because you can just drop into a song. It, if you say, hey, I, I don't know what I'm going to play right now, but I uh, want, want to play a uh, song. I just want to play a song. Just do whatever. Right, uh, you can choose like songs, but it costs you. Um, yes, you can buy it with real money, but you shouldn't be an asshole. Um, yeah, because you can buy be- songs with like points or whatever that look. Yeah, uh, credits. Is that a, now? Is that the A sharp minor or is that? <laughs> That's the A A F major. I don't know any of that, what that means. <laughs> Guitar. <laughs> um, but, yeah, like, you can just drop into a song, um, and... <laughs> Sorry, that train is really bothering me. It doesn't bother me, I think it's kind of cool. Um, but, you know, after seven weeks straight of it, you might have an issue. Yeah, after, like... <laughs> because I get constantly w- waking up at, like, ten o'clock when it comes in, and I'm just, like... <sighs> downtown, everybody. Downtown. Downtown. Just be glad you don't live over you don't live over the uh, the air li- airways, the uh, the air traffic. Uh, what the hell do they call that? I do. Where where the plane literally flies over your house because you're close to the airport. Whatever the hell they call. I that. do. You do. Yeah. That, I told oh, you the airport's just right to my right. Well, right, but you may not. I mean, it may not be. But it's close enough to where the plane will fly right over you. Yeah, it won't f- fly over. Um, but it'll, I can look out my window every few minutes and see a plane flying by. Not like a 747 or anything, but like leader jets, helicopters. It's pretty cool. It, it loses its novelty the 20th time you see it, but. What are you gonna do? I don't know. Um. Move. Well, I would if it wouldn't cost me like $3,000. <laughs> Uh, but I, I love it here, man. Uh, I've got a new bed, paying for groceries. That's that's different. Uh, that's different. Uh, yeah, got a crap crappy Keurig. Got a TV stand. Got a coffee table. Got a side table. Got a futon that is uh, being used as a sofa. That's all you need. Because I don't like that sofas have arms. So, because because fuck the police. I don't know. I'm delusional. I I was up till like midnight last night. So, um, Austin start Austin starting his new rap group, the AWA. <laughs> knock knock, it's the sound of the police. Knock knock, it's the sound of the beast. You know they I, they play. I don't. They play that song in Battlefield Hard One. Every, oh, it's about cops. Well, I know, but, like, mm, you could have been... That's another game I need to go back and play. I, I played a little bit of it last night, but I didn't put it on here because it was literally, like, five minutes of actual gameplay. I have it from EA Access, so I should probably play that. God damn it, that's such a great value. It really is, man. I don't, I'm not a fan of EA, but good lord. Oh, and they expanded... It's definitely, it's definitely worth it. And they expanded it last week to Origin Access... To so you can play it off. Yeah, it's different though. It, it, it's not only EA games. Yeah, it's different. I don't. I don't like comparing them as being the same. Well, like like people are doing. Yeah, like it's not the same. Definitely, it's, there's some tweaks and things under the hood. Especially because there's no year option as well. It's literally you have to pay five dollars a month. You can't do the year option. Yeah, but I, I I think they got feedback from EA Access and people are like, eh, I don't want to pay for the whole year. 
But that's but you're saving half price if you're not paying for the year. Yeah. I mean, if you if you do pay, people for the are year. dumb. We've gone over this before. People are are fucking up by not using smart glass. People are fucking up by not using. Uh, I agree. People are just, I completely people agree. in general are just fucking up. People are always fucking up, and I'm I, and I tell it to their face. <laughs> stop fucking up, I say. Yeah, just stop fucking up. Um, but again, I walked up to a kid the other day and said, "Stop fucking up." <laughs> Did you really? Well, he was a four-year-old trying to pull the, you know, the you put the quarter in, you get the candy or the gumball. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he was just shaking it, and he wasn't putting the quarter in. I walked over and said, "Stop fucking up." <laughs> and the mother walked over and congratulated me on teaching her kid a lesson. Yeah. That little girl will. That little girl will learn one day. Yeah, little girl. So go to college and get pounded. That's right. And so this be like, hey, you want to come over to my place and just fuck? Want to fuck it up? Yeah. She, she, I was told at a very young age I need to stop fucking up. Yeah. Just everyone needs to know that they're fucking up. Um, but a game that is not a fuck up, and one of my favorite games. In a long, long time, is that Dragon Cancer? I will not t- say anything about this, the gameplay or otherwise. Go read my review. Um, if you are not going to play it, uh, I explain the gameplay. I ex- I do not spoil anything. There are screenshots, but they do not spoil anything. I promise. He promises. Go to the verticalslice.com. It's right on the front page. So, at this moment, at this moment, if I believe at this moment, oh, oh, yeah. I don't know that, and I'm so glad I don't. The tarantula is. It's who? The tarantula is unleashed. The only tarantula I know is mystical. <laughs> Got a snake in my face. <gasps> oh. Lord. Uh, um, but really quick, uh, so if you saw on my Twitter last night, if you're listening to this, the day it goes up, um, I went to a little, uh, barcade, which apparently we're combining words now. That's a thing. Um. That ain't new. <laughs> that ain't a new thing. Well, actually, no, it's a, a, a three-way combo. It's a bar, it's an arcade, and a movie theater. Which I don't know how the people aren't just losing their minds in that movie theater. Because it's just right behind the bar. So I'm like, oh, Jesus. I couldn't watch a movie in those conditions. Some people just want to get drunk and watch a movie. Well, it was like a really artistic movie that they're showing that night. Like the big short. Oh, so it's one of those? Yeah. It's, it, it's Kansas City, man. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know it, what that It means. was in the Crossroads Art District, so... Oh, so it's it's uh, uh I literally uh, walked home walked to this dude's car who was driving me home because I had a headache and I'm not walking twenty more minutes on a headache. I was like about to throw up. Um like I I just laid sprawled out on my floor last night. It was it was bad. <laughs> I don't I don't even know what happened either. Um I did not get roofied. That's just uh, but I was walking to this dude's car and this random girl opened her car door and was like Hey, just take this. And I was like, no. She's like, just take it, okay? And she she's promoting her shitty band called the Philistines. So it's so it's kind of like the historic Sheepa Town? Yep. From South yep. Park? Sheepa Town? <laughs> like, seriously, she forcibly opened her car door, made an effort to be like, hey, come here. Like, I, it's grassroots over there, I guess. Yeah. Well, I mean, not only grass right now, but there are roots. Um. Uh, but yeah, I I did a kind of funny fan meetup uh, down here in Kansas City. We're trying to make it monthly. Um, it was really me and this gigantic Andre the Giant motherfucker. Um, no, play he's like seven foot tall. It was insane. Seven foot tall, four hundred pounds. No, he wasn't four hundred pounds. He's like skinny as me. Uh, I don't know, man. You'd be surprised how even if it's even skinny, the the taller you are, the more you weigh. Yeah. Um, but it's like a good balance, you know. Uh, he's wearing this sick ass leather jacket that I was like, 
damn, that's a cool jacket. Um, he he let you put it on, and you were you were swimming. And then I just you were you were gone. No one saw you. It was like a black hole. <laughs> Where did Austin go? And then I put put on my Tom Cruise shades and said, "Do you want to go to the danger zone?" Highway to the danger zone. <laughs> <clears throat> that hurt my lungs. <laughs> oh, sorry. But uh, <laughs> it's, it's not your fault. But uh, I got a big $23 pound of chicken wings that I finished off. <laughs> I love chicken wings. Oh, dude, yeah, I was like... I was, I've been craving chicken wings so much. I, I'm, make it, I'm making some tonight. Oh, send them some. Send some to me. You, you want You want to hear the recipe? Sure. Because we're making a quality podcast for the com. This is what we do when I, I actually move and talk talk shit. Talk shit. Get shot. I'll just pull up on my internet's being a bitch. And the thing is, I tried to uh, upgrade my internet. And they're like, no, you've got the fastest uh, internet ever. So... I'm just like, okay, well, you fuck it up. Um, so, th- this yields 60 wings. I can eat uh, all 60. I feel like I can eat all 60. Oh, I... And I, then, I, yeah, but then, then I'm like 10 in, and I'm like, okay, this might be enough. <laughs> but they look so good, and I would force uh, myself to eat them. Uh, and then 50 later, you're like, oh, that was It was so good, good but I feel so sick right now. Yeah, totally like... Totally worth it. The prep time... Yeah. Like, the prep time is 40 minutes, just about. Jesus Christ. Like, it's insane. Uh, but the ingredients are as follows. Two pounds of wings, one cup of flour, one cup panko bread crumbs, cayenne pepper, black pepper, garlic pe- pep- powder, uh, season to taste, um, two eggs, buffalo sauce to taste, Two teaspoons, no, tablespoons of butter. Three cloves of garlic, if you're a garlic-loving motherfucker. Um, so the instructions are as follows. One, preheat oven to 435 degrees Fahrenheit. Two, mix flour, crumbs, cayenne, black pepper, and garlic powder in a bowl. Three, whisk eggs in another bowl. Four, Cut through the chicken joint. Don't you gotta? You don't gotta make it complicated. Just cut the joint. Just cut the joint. <laughs> um, five coat pan in cooking spray or oil, if, if that's your thing. I'm gonna be coating it in olive oil. So, are you uh, gonna do regular olive oil or are you gonna do E V O O? E V O extra oh, virgin. That's what that's what everyone does. It, it was the cheapest motherfucker. I don't. I don't know the difference. All I'm saying is, every time I hear someone say oil, and then I go grab oil, like you need to get the extra virgin olive oil. Oh my fucking god, people! It's oil. No, I'm just like it, it, it's oil. Yeah, but that's what most people use, and apparently it makes things cook better. I don't know. Like I thought about using ghee, but I was like, yeah, I don't have money for that. <laughs> I don't like it's literally eight dollars a jar. Um, but uh, but 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 cope and. Six, dip wings into eggs, then flour. Uh, revolutionary thing right there. Um, pack flour onto the wings. You gotta pack it. You know, make it stick. Set on this pan. Um, you cook it 20 minutes at 435 degrees Fahrenheit. You flip the wings using tongs or whatever. Don't use your hands. Don't be a bitch. Um, cook that for 20 minutes after you flip them. At 445 degrees Fahrenheit. Then you combine the buffalo sauce, butter, and garlic in a pot and warm on the stove. 9. Put wings and sauce in a large bowl and toss to coat. So, that's the wing recipe. I'm also making, uh, what else am I making? I'm making some dang quesadillas, that's what I'm making. Like, I, I literally only have to cook two meals a week. It's glorious. That's smart. Uh, I've got some nochi in the fridge. It, it's some, some artisanal shit. Um, because I've turned into ever the hipster since I moved here. 
<sighs> I'm just like, is that a dark walnut finish? Is that an Americano? Oh my fucking god, you're you're turning into one of those. You're, t- I, you're turning into one of them. I know, I'm, I'm trying to be like, stop fucking up, stop fucking up. I'll remind you every day, I'm just going to send you a, a, that every day at random mm-hmm. times. Mm-hmm. Day. Stop fucking up. And, and I won't like, talk to you for the rest of the day. And you'll be like, what's going on? Why won't he talk to me? And then the next day I'll say, stop fucking up. And then you'll start to realize. <laughs> that I'm just fucking up too often. Yeah, you need to stop fucking up. Um, but anyway, circling back. Uh, I did a kind of funny fan meetup. Uh, dude, tall dude came. Uh, we played a whole shit ton of arcade games. I'm just going to name them. Uh, because there's, we, there's just no time. Yeah. There's just no time. Gauntlet. Not that Slayer edition that Sony's trying yeah, to push the, on the you. Yeah, good gauntlet. <laughs> the yeah, the top-down... The top-down, four-player, four sitting in an arcade cabinet, slamming beers. It's great. I, I wasn't, but... Uh, I was going to say, how the hell did you slam a beer down? Did someone put it down and you slammed it out of the way? Yeah. <laughs> Get this fucking thing out of here. Get, Drink a get whiskey. Get your beer and your quarter out of here. Oh, the cool thing is, is they all, all set the uh, arcade machines to free play. So you oh. could just keep going. Well, I was I was insinuating back to, to back, since you're too young to understand this, back in my day when if you if you wanted to play next, you put your quarter on the machine, and that's how you signified who got next. No, I, I know. Um, because But you never it, had to deal with that. You're too well, young to have deal, dealt with that. Well, we were not, not me. We we constantly brought it up though. It's like, hey, should we let somebody else play this game? Yeah, uh, and then we moved on to another game because we were like, at, at one of them, we we're like, at one for like twenty minutes, and I was like, yeah, we should probably give this up. <laughs> um, but we every you every game we went to, it's like, you know what? It, it would be really cool. I, I mean, I'm glad we don't have to do this. But it would be really cool if, like, one night, uh, they just turned free play off and just said, now you've got to pay. You you are opening up such a huge can of worms if you do that. No, I know. Uh, I'll be opening my wallet. (laughs) Well, I I mean, like, that business would be... No one would do that. You You can't give them free play for, let's say, 29 days of the month and then the 30th day be like, oh, guess what, guys? You've got to pay now. No, I know that. But the, like, you gotta do it the opposite. It's gonna be the other way around. Yeah, but but I, I don't know. Every Saturday night, free play at our arcade machines. Yeah, your your kids are fucking up. Oh, you know, I did see some like five year old kids there. I was like, whoa, that's cool. How late um, was that? That was like, well, when I got there and saw these kids, it was like six thirty. Oh, okay. At night. So um, it's not like a situation where I would go into like a Walmart at midnight or you know a yeah. market and then be like, "Hey, family, but, why do you have your four three year old kids here?" But it's it's also like, okay, keep the kids in the arcade, <laughs> and then you go to the bar and get hammered. <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's great parenting. Saw so way, so way too I many drink. <laughs> saw way too many beers. I almost like grab a whiskey, you fucking pussy. Some people like the taste of gross drinks. Yeah, like, now at least be, you know, drink a whiskey. Here, well, let me show you how to drink. <gasps> wow, you are really, <laughs> you are really versed in this adult life now. Yeah, just don't, uh, just don't muddle your fruit. You're fucking up. You're fucking up if you do that. I, I couldn't tell you, I don't drink. Um, in the other games, just to run them by you, Mortal Kombat 2, I suck at the game. Spider Man, the video what game. A fantastic game, though. Oh, you did some. You fucked up. Uh, super. Sp- you. The lines you have to. Um, what? No, none. It's fixed. Okay. I don't super. Know what are you talking about? Uh, then we hopped over to the Nintendo sixty four. They they added up on like the big screen. Um, Damn. I could, we could also play like Sega Genesis or Super Nintendo, but I was like, I have played the Genesis. It ain't shit. Uh, and then I, I saw the Super Nintendo ball, I'm like, that controller hurts my hands. Um, it really does. It, it, I can't play. I haven't used it in a very long time, but... Um, but, uh, yeah, the original Smash Brothers children, the original 
not Melee, not Brawl, although I did play Brawl on, um, and Mario Party on New Year's Eve. Interesting. It made it a drinking game. Every time you lost, you took a jail shot. But these guys were fucking up. They didn't know how to mix it. They were making like 50-50. That's gross. Yeah, like, do 80-20. Then we'll see who's fucking up. Do zero zero. That's my book. I mean, like, I got there, and they were just like, hey, Jello shots? And I'm like, fuck yeah! <laughs> uh, because I was just like, even the nerds were taking Jello shots, so I was like, alright. <laughs> all right. Fucking nerds. Yeah, like, this dude who's, like, wanting to be a biophysicist, I was like, alright, you go, man. <laughs> fucking nerds. And then there was this girl I wanted to fuck, but she wasn't gonna fuck because her boyfriend was there, so... Eh. Isn't it always the way? Yeah. Like, and the the cruel thing was, is I had a split-second moment where I was like, I could just reef... Because the dude was getting hammered, right? We didn't think he could go home. Somehow, by a miracle, he did not kill anybody. <laughs> um, because he drove... He did a little bit of drunk driving... Oh, sweet. Yeah. But he went to IHOP, so it was like five minutes away, so... Yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, who cares how far it is? Well, that, I mean, yeah. <laughs> um, but I had this... Uh, we were drinking water out of a vodka bottle, because why not? And I I went to refill it, and I was like... I had a split-second decision point where I was like, should I fill this with more vodka just so I can fuck this girl? No, it's not worth it. <laughs> because, like... You kids. You fucking kids, man. Everyone was just trying to get fucked. Yeah, like... I, I have... I had the, the pussy... In a, in a while. <laughs> uh, like a year. <laughs> Two years. Oh, I'm just like... Please, pussy. Just a little bit. Just a little t- or just the taste. Just the tip. Just the tip. That's uh, the name of one of our panels in t- on twitch.tv slash vertical size live. I'm not, I'm not joking. <laughs> uh, uh, I also played uh, WWF No Mercy. Gr- yep, it was a great game. Great game, yeah. I just couldn't figure out how to cl- uh, always do cage match. Always do cage match. No, cage matches is the worst. Is it really? Well, I mean, I, I just I never like cage matches in video games. And how unrealistic is it that you can just take punches? Like I was playing Undertaker, the other dude was playing The Rock, and I was just like, "How is this? How are we not bleeding out of our brains right now?" Well, you know, it is fake. No, well, no, I know, but <laughs> we're we're just going at it like it was endless. So I was just like, okay. You can't KO anybody. Like, with a, is it with? Well, you definitely in that game you didn't. You can KO people. You just turn that mat. You have to turn that on. No, oh. it's an it's an option in all the wrestling games. Oh, that's weird. Um, because we were just punching each other. And I was like, how do we win? And then I just randomly decided I'm gonna exit the cage. Isn't? Oh, you were. That's right. You were playing cage punch. I was gonna say that isn't pin button down C. Yeah, I think. I remember that. Uh, speaking of things I do not want to remember, Star Wars Episode 1 Racer, that was, it was as bad as Episode 1. Of course. Um, then I played Joust and did not understand how to play that game. Uh. You have to, you have to push people. Yeah, but, like, I kept trying to push the, the other dude and I was like, wait, no, this isn't working, how do I do this? Um... I because there's no instructions on the arcade cabinet at all at all. Well, yeah, I mean back then there wasn't need of that. <laughs> it was just it was just, you know, hold on. Just go. Just just walk into them. Walking? Yeah, walking into them. Sorry, I had to add two. Um then I played Tekken 2. Ah. I'm I love that game. Uh, Makes me want to buy a PS One. 
Speaking of Tekken 2. Yeah. Pokken Tournament now has a release date. Yeah. I, 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 that's actually one of the articles I removed last night. <laughs> that's alright. I mean, um, because I was like, it's, it's just a release date announcement. Most, I'm sure most people who listen to this, if anyone's listening, doesn't give a shit about Pokemon. Uh, uh, they're not me. I, you know, I do think what's smart about that, though, is they're using Amiibo cards. You know, like Pokemon? Well, yeah, they had to. I mean, they, they would get so... If they don't have ill will now for people, they'd have real fucking ill will if they threw out Pokemon. Like plastic Amiibos? Uh, they are like, there's 700 Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> they would get garner huge... Same thing with Animal Crossing. That's why not every character in Animal Crossing has their own Amiibo. Yeah. Because people would flip shit. That's why they have the cards. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I played Mario Bros. OG. Um, the, it, uh, it, the pipe. Yep. The it, pipe Mario Brothers. It does not hold up at all. I don't think it's that bad. It, it's, I, you can't, yeah, it's, you can't jump on top of them at all. Well, no, that's not what Mario Brothers was. Mm-mm. Well, you, actually, you can, but they have to be on their backs. Yeah, and you get like two seconds in the arcade version. Well, yeah, they, they need your quarter. Yeah, you need all the quarters. And then I played... This was a surprising addition to the arcade. Fix it. Isn't this the Disney? Fix it, Felix Jr., based off of uh, the Wreck It Ralph movie. Isn't this Donkey Kong, basically? Yeah, it's basically Donkey Kong, except for you have to fix Windows. And, and they even released this for iPhone, iPad, Android. Um, that I knew. I knew that came out but for them, but it, I didn't realize it was an arcade game, too. Yeah, I, I've seen it occasionally when I go to arcades. Um,. But the weirdest thing about it was is it was so high quality looking that it was just off putting. I was just like, this looks too high quality for an arcade cabinet. <laughs> Interesting. Um, then I played Area fifty one because if you're going to arcade, you play Area fifty one. One of the classics. Yeah, you're fucking up if you don't do that. Um, As we all know. Yeah, stop fucking up. Yeah, stop fucking up. And then I also played Off Road. I keep forgetting games, so I'm just like constantly adding them. But this is like a Excite Bite, but but you have to, uh, um, yeah. Anyways, it's a, it's a cool game. Just look it up. I, I, there's just no time. Narc, uh, anti drug game. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. What a fantastic the, game! Fantastic game. Ah, you're fucking up. With Speaking of both those games, Narc and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Four. That's the I'm going by the Super Nintendo because it plays in here. Yeah. Uh, those two, I like the I like the um, the console versions better. You the do. Arcade ones. For Narc on the NES, I felt like it was better. I don't know why. And then I I think Turtles Four, or Turtles in Time was better than the arcade version. Yeah, dude. Like Narc, you can. Did you know you can get back into the vehicle? Yeah. Yeah. I just randomly decided, hey, the car's there. I wonder if I can. Oh, <gasps> I can drive it. Um, I don't remember if both people can get in the car. Yeah, though. both both people. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can trick it into um, like you just die really quick, um, and then you'll just pop back into the car. Um, and then the last game I played is a shitty game called Star Wars Trilogy Arcade. It, like, I just told this dude, uh, thank God we have analog sticks now. <laughs> thank God. That'll that'll play in because you had to move the whole joystick to move. I was just like, oh Jesus! No thanks, no thanks. I mean, like, I couldn't even like slow jerk it. Well, you could have. Well, not later. My arm was so fucking tired. Well, that's true. Because that's true. I was playing arcade games all night. Well, technically, if you're gonna slow jerk it, it wouldn't matter how tired your arm was. Okay, fast jerk. Yeah, I'm a fast. Okay, I'm, there you go. I'm a fast jerker. Well, just explode. Just... You gotta, you gotta go. People, I mean, you got, you got uh, people to go places to see. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, really quick, I uh, go to you porn. Uh, just don't. Uh, no. <laughs> um, but let's get to your vastly better games. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, no offense. New games. No offense to all the crap you've been playing lately. Yeah. If... I'm sure. <laughs> Well, I played five minutes of it. I'm fucking up, okay? 
<laughs> so I played, obviously, Fallout 4. Although I have been playing... This is, this is really only kind of, like, a holdout over the past few weeks because so we haven't been around. But I st- I've i turned myself off from playing Fallout 4 um, for, like, a week or two just because I want to play other things because I really only have three achievements left to get um, until I've completed it. And it's basically just going through the Brotherhood storyline. Um, did you get the benevolent thingy? Yeah. Trophy? A fucking awful trophy. Or achievement. Yeah, I think I need, need to restart Fallout 4. I think you do. I, it's still a great well, game. Well, like, I've been installed on my PS4 right now, and I even popped back in for a while, and then I saw all the settlement shit. I'm like, okay, and turning my PS4 off. <laughs> yeah, it's really annoying that they say you don't need to do it. And to an extent, you don't, but to a extent you do need to do it. Well, and the thing is... Like, you have to. The game is built around it. I, I'm tired of them saying you don't need to do it when you kind of absolutely do. You can not do it, but... Well... The game is built around it, so you're cheating yourself if you're not. Yeah, and the thing is, like, I'll, I'll talk to people about Fallout 4, and I'm like, um... The main reason I stopped playing it is because of that stuff, right? Um, and they're like, oh, well, you don't have to do it. You don't have to. The, they're so locked into it, this. This it, can't possibly be bad. This can't possibly. Be it bad. is true that you don't have to do it, but as I said, the game is literally built around it. Yeah. So, which seems weird because it feels like this was tacked on at last minute. But the game is weirdly built around it. So, yes, you don't have to do it, but at the same time, if you don't do it, you are cutting out a big portion of what you can do in the game because a lot of things tie to using settlements like right and the thing is um which you'll know if you've played the game yeah i don't need to explain yeah that um i keep seeing memes of uh preston they're like oh yeah being like uh, there's another settlement that needs our help uh it seems like everyone leaves him at sanctuary so the memes are always who we'll head back to sanctuary <laughs> preston's got another fucking <laughs> settlement to get uh and then uh <laughs> Um, but, see, real talk, um, when I can't, when I feel that the game is getting in my way, I'm just like, I, I can't play this game, it's getting in my way, because yeah, it, as soon people... as you arrive in Sanctuary, I don't mean to cut you off, but... The, no, I, I thought you were done, no. I was cutting you off. Um, but uh, I got in there, I was like, okay, let's go find whoever we need to find, and then like, no, you're... You're staying here. You're going to take care of all the settlement shit. Make sure everyone gets a bed, food, water. And I'm like, no. I I don't want to do that. Yeah, there was a good 20 plus hours where I was literally doing only settlement and, you know, uh, go kill these ghouls and all this fucking whatever Preston was giving me because I thought that that was something. This was like really early on when the game first came out when I didn't realize how the game was. Until I finally realized 20, 25, 30 hours later that just doing these Minutemen things isn't really doing anything because these are the fucking persistent quests that are going to make the game technically never end. Mm. So I didn't realize that until too late. And I'm just like, I'm so fucking deep in this shit that I literally did no side quests or nothing else other than these miscellaneous quests of this settlement wants you to kill ghouls that are attacking them, and then all of a sudden, because you've already done this 50 times to the same people, the ghouls that are randomly attacking these people are, like, 50 miles away. And it's like, how the fuck are they the ones attacking you? Yeah. If, if you've been playing, well, you don't know, but for people who have been playing Fallout 4, like, let's say Abernathy Hills, whatever the hell it's called. Mm-hmm. They're keeping, they keep getting attacked by ghouls. The ghouls thing is, like, two two feet away from them, except... This time, the fucking ghouls that are attacking them are near Diamond City. What the fuck are you talking about? The ghouls are not traveling miles to get to get to you. Yeah. I know I'm getting crazy, but this is how crazy it got. Yeah, they're fucked up. <laughs> they are. And they didn't stop. As them. much as I love Fallout 4, I don't. <laughs> yeah. Um. So that's what I need to do. I need to go back and just, at some point, it's going to be soon, just so I can get it out of the way. And I'm just going to restart... I'm gonna create a female character, yeah. and um, I typically I play the female character first, but because the character was voiced, this time I decided to do a male character because I wanted them to say my name. 
Say my name. So I play this myself, basically. But um, I'm going to start a female character and just go down, like, an evil brotherhood route and, you know, do it from there. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm definitely going to start over with a dude. Um, I think you should just play it either way. Whatever, whatever you're going to um, do, just play because it. Because another point... Uh, on the settlement stuff is I deleted everything in every house. Oh, people, I see people do that all And I'm just like, well, but I need that. <laughs> well, you don't necessarily, you can just build anything you want. But as far as the last thing I'm going to say about Fallout with the settlement stuff is that more power to you if you fucking love it. Great. I'm glad that they gave you something that you absolutely love, and that's perfectly fine. Except... You have to at least be able to see and realize that this is such a poorly implemented uh, part of the game. Like, I'm great that you love it, and you're having a blast with it, and you're spending 50 hours doing nothing but building settlements. Fantastic. You got your money's worth. I'm very happy for you. But to say that it is not a poorly implemented and uh, pretty shitty um, mode is just being blind. Like, I love a lot of shitty things, but I'm very aware that they are shitty. Yeah. I just happen to like the brand of shit they're giving me. And the other... It's the chocolate shit, and not the poop shit. And the other thing, the final word, really quick, for me, yeah. is... It's also coming from that place, just personally, of... Oh, where do I put my furniture in my apartment? <laughs> so I'm like... Mm. It, it it gets that to that level, and I'm like... I, I don't want to fucking think about this right now. I, I, no. <laughs> yeah. Um, I can Because I've got, got this coffee table... An end table lying on the floor that came from Amazon. Uh, Dark Alana. <laughs> I think you literally just died. Um, hopefully not. We... Continue. Continue the podcast by yourself. No. I'll get Tom. <clears throat> oh. So, the next game that I played was Shovel Knight. <sighs> Which. And. Did you get the amiibo? That's an important question. I do want the amiibo, but I don't have it. No, but um, the game is not bad, but I fail to see the hype around it. I think this game was too hyped. I I like it. I do like the game. I'm just saying I think the hype around it because I didn't get in on the ground floor again. <laughs> it the hype does not live up to what the game is. Yeah. Um, I like the game. I didn't but... see any of that hype, so I can't really speak to that. And why is the Punisher trending twice on Facebook? Because there's a new Punisher uh, TV oh, series fuck that. coming. Uh, John, John Bernthal? Yeah, I've, I'm very vocal about that. I love John Bernthal. I just don't think he's a, the right Punisher. I think he's too, get uh, a, he's too small. Get a Tom Hardy. Get Thomas Jane. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I really like Thomas Jane as the I, Punisher. I'm sorry. I don't disagree with you, man. Um, I really liked him as the Punisher. I wish he got a chance. He was, but I get, I he get was it. the motherfucker who would just walk up in a building and just you knew he was gonna shoot you in the face. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm sure John Bernthal he has the acting chops and the demeanor to be the Punisher for sure. But I just think he doesn't have the right look for the Punisher. I mean, Thomas Jane didn't really either. Yeah, and but also he's like Spanish, so <laughs> I don't. I mean, maybe he is. I just think he's too. I think he's just too small. I think he's just a too small guy. But you know, whatever. I, I have no problem with it. Other than that, I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy it on Daredevil. I've been watching Jessica Jones finally. It's a piece of shit. Thank God, it? Megan will finally allow. I love Jessica Jones actually. <sighs> you didn't like I, it? I I think it's a piece of shit. I like it's it. well. I have I have uh, a, there's a lot of nitpicky things I have with it, but nothing go, that over. That nothing go to youtubecom slash tech show tonight or tomorrow night. I don't know, um, but I'll be recording it tonight at the very least. Um, but I come from pla- from a place where I read all the Jessica Jones stuff. Oh yeah, I did. See, and I think that's the thing. But because with Daredevil, I I've read a big portion of. Um, Daredevil. I've read a lot of Mark Wade's stuff. Um, but... it I could appreciate it, though. When Daredevil came out. I'm like, alright, this is... It's cool little thing. Uh, it's true to the character. But with Jessica Jones, I'm like... No. No. It's not even close. I couldn't tell you. I don't know much about Jessica because Jones. Because Kilgrave... 
and he even makes a joke about this in the... Don't spoil the series for Oh, GAV not finished it. I'm only, like, five episodes in. Well, it's not... Okay. Well... No, I, won't. I have to wait for Megan, that's the problem. And she finally got off her ass and let me watch it with her. So that's the problem. I fucking would've watched this all on November 20th if I could've. But I have to wait. I wouldn't. I have to wait for uh. her. That's the problem. Bitch. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so yeah, Shovel Knight. <laughs> I like it. Uh, I just think but... it's... I just think it's, you know... it's The hype was too high. But... You know, it is what it is. I, I do want the... Oh, lordy. Uh, listen, you motherfucker. I I'm, just like, starving. And I told you how much I've been, wings. like, digging wings lately. <laughs> and, like, wanting them wanting them so much. That's and then this exactly fucker, why. like, drops this delicious-looking motherfucking <laughs> wing stash on me. Dude, it was... It was Jesus a plate of, like, And what's even... What's worse... 30... 30. Ooh, I, there's a place I was about to say across the street that, that you can buy a 48. Oh, and I will. Oh, yeah, and I dude. want them so bad, but they're expensive. <laughs> I don't have any money. <laughs> yeah, that that plate was like oh, $23. I'm so fucking hungry right now. You have no idea. And, now I, and I want wings. I've been wanting wings for like two <laughs> months. You fucker. <laughs> anyway, I've also been playing Mario Maker. <laughs> um... And the other thing is, like, uh, I t- for those who are wondering about, how much did you tip? I tipped the, the amount of the you bill. You should never tell people how much you tip. There's no good in that. Because you're either going to well, come off as an asshole or come off as high and mighty. Well, no, because I uh, posted uh, about, like, hey, you just came back from Applebee's one night. And it's like, somebody was calling me out and been like, how much did you tip? All you need to say is the appropriate amount and leave it at that. Because... If you're someone who believes in service dictates tip, who's to tell you what dictates the tip other than you? Yeah. You can't you can't listen to people talking. That's why you should never tell how people how much you tip because you're either like I said you're either gonna come off as an asshole or you're gonna come off as high and muddy douche. So yeah. if someone asks you, just say the appropriate amount. Yeah, and then they'll be like, "Well, what's the appropriate amount?" That's for me and the server to know. That's that yeah. simple. Just taught you a life lesson, kids. So yeah, I spent a lot of money on those links. Yep, that's all you need to know. It was between me and the server. Yep. Um, By the way, Jessica Jones got renewed for season two. I know, I just saw that. Yeah. I'm so happy. Like one minute ago. I'm so happy. Which is odd that on a random Sunday they choose to renew. Oh, because they made um, this announcement a long time ago. But Yeah, I'm very happy. Uh, I'm liking it so far. So I, I'm hating it so far. <laughs> play Mario Maker. Um, I'm still not creating anything because I'm, I'm I'm partly intimidated and I'm partly just not really into that type of game. <clears throat> but I've been playing a lot of the um, the special courses that they've come out with. You know, just to get the amiibo costumes, and I'm really liking it. I've been playing some uh, you know custom levels, obviously, because that's all this game is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm having fun. It's a good game. It's a good. Uh, uh, well, it's a good half of game. You want to play my level? Okay, uh, here's how you do it. One Z, yeah, Delta oh, Fox I'm not going to get into this fucking bullshit. Nintendo, we already did, Nintendo, but... you are fucking up so bad. But anyway, uh, Mario Maker's good, good X experience. Gonna give it to you. Yeah. Mario Maker's a good experience. I hope they do come out with a new one for the uh, um, Nintendo the, Next, or whatever the fuck they're going to call it. The, the, the NX. Yeah. The, I, uh, I, just, I just hope they would just call it Nintendo. The Nintendo. Um, no, I think they need to come up with something, like, really cool. Like, the I think Nintendo... they, need to, they need to call it something cool. The Nintendo Whirlpool. Mm, Lord help me. It's like Dreamcast the, all over again. The Nintendo... Fuckboy. Well, they are from Asia, so... Yeah. So, so, but yeah, so I, fuck... I, I do want them to come out with a new Mario Maker for the NX, but I want them to I... make it, like, an ex. I want them to make it to where it's not just like throw a level and then you're done. Oh, this level person made a level and you're done. I want people to make their own Mario games. Yeah, that would like, be great. Here's my world. Go play one through eight of my world. Yeah. Um, and and I you built be... your foundation. Now you now like take it to the next level, Nintendo. Yeah, take it to the take it to the limit. NX level. Take it to the next limit. So yeah, Mario yeah. Maker is a good experience. Um, I, I, sometimes I have to take uh, if you've read my. Uh, Game of the Year stuff. I hesitate sometimes to call it a game, but yeah, it's 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 a, the, it's a good a, experience. Yeah, it's experience. <clears throat> um, 
But um, I would totally buy this if uh, I was actually looking at Wii U this week. But I was like, mm, I think it's going to come you up. You should just hold off on the Wii U. Don't even. Yeah, you, well, you should just not even buy I, it. I did because I'm like, the, the Wii U still two hundred dollars. What the fuck? Yeah, don't don't bother with the Wii U. You. For you, trust me, as someone who's very deep into all ecosystems, you don't even for you, don't even bother. Yeah, because I got very deep into Apple ecosystems, I'm like, this ecosystem bullshit. Yeah, don't even uh, Because they just, like, with Apple, man, I, I'm looking at my iPad mini over there, charging, being all beauty, uh, and I'm just like, I can't help but look at it in disdain. I really can't. <laughs> um, Because I'm just like, they just... You can't install certain apps if you don't have the right iPad. You can't, like, have iOS 9 if you don't have the right iPad. It's so weird. Yeah, it's just the way Apple is, man. It's just the way technology goes. Yeah, I know, but I, I can play new games on this. Well, th- this is a bad example. But, um, um, I'll answer emails later. This is podcast time. Yeah. Um, so I, then I then I was playing Lego Star Wars Complete Saga. I got it on it, sale. One was five dollars. Oh yeah, because <laughs> it's backwards compatible with Xbox. Oh no nice. One. So that's why I did it. I also have Lego Batman one and two. I need to go back to play. I got that on the sale as well because they were five bucks, and that's my that's my sweet spot for Lego games, especially the older ones. Um, I would love for them to become backwards compatible because I like, as as anyone who knows um, over this past year, I've gotten this like huge boner about um, 100%ing every Lego game. Uh, so that's in my quest to do that, and I'm now doing Lego Star Wars Complete Saga. I'm just not a fan of Star Wars. It's like a slog. <laughs> and not only that, it's one of the older ones. It came out in 2008, I believe, or 2007. Mm-hmm. One of those years. One of those years. It's so. it's uh, definitely one of the older games, so like it doesn't play as smoothly as the new ones. So if you're if you've never played it and you're going to go back and play it, Remember that this is not one of the polished ones, and it's weird to say that about a Lego game because I wouldn't call them polished by any means. But you all understand what I'm saying if you if you yeah. you know played, played them up until now, or if you're going to go back and play them, um, they are a little bit different. Um, like they play a little bit differently, but you know they play the exact same. Again, I know that sounds weird, but it's true. Uh, so yeah, I'm going through that. I have like four or five more achievements to go. It's it's the long haul ones. It's not the ones where you can immediately just knock it out in two seconds. It's the ones where you have to collect everything, and yeah. So that's that's a that's a fucking time sink and a half. So those are the ones I'm doing now, um, and you know we'll see what happens. Um, and then just very quickly, yesterday my mother came over to watch the Patriots game, and she surprised me with a twenty dollar uh, PSN card. Yeah, I saw and that. So I was like, well, I guess I can get the GTA trilogy now, and boom. So I play a little bit of 3 in Vice City, and um, they do look nice, but you have to, uh, you forget how they play if you haven't played them in, you know, 10 years. And they play I super have... differently. So I haven't tried Vi- uh, um, I haven't tried San Andreas yet, so it's the PS2 version. I don't remember how that played, because I've, I have the 360 version, which is the updated... Uh, um, window or the mobile one so the yeah. controls are a little bit different i don't remember how san andreas played so as of now i'm still can... saying the the mobile port that's on ps3 and 360 are the best versions mm. we'll see how but san they andreas removed plays. music but didn't they remove well, music? they removed music from all of them Oh, okay. they even even these That's ones sense. that just came out, they removed music because they have to. They, they didn't license; they can't license them again. Or they don't. They didn't. Not, not that they can't. They didn't. So yeah, um, because who, who's going to right? Spend exactly. On a game if you think fifty dollars like costs a lot now, or if you think it's fifty dollars is a lot now, imagine what they would have to charge if they license all that shit again. Man. So, but yeah, that's why I bought it too because I thought fifteen. As, as we all know, if we've paid attention to what I'm saying, I thought fifteen dollars was fucking outrageous for all three of these games, um, each. But the trilogy was on sale this this week. Yep. As, as of right now, until Tuesday at this point. Yeah, because for, tw- for eighteen dollars. Because they say, oh, it ends Monday. No, it doesn't. It, it, it ends on Tuesday. Well, it ends Tuesday. 
like halfway through the day. Yeah, it's like okay, but now we're gonna switch sales. Okay, thanks, I guess. But yeah, like GTA five, three Vice City and San Andreas are fifteen dollars each. They are each on sale for nine dollars, but then the trilogy of games in a bundle was on sale for eighteen. So I was thinking, like, I don't need San Andreas in any way. I, that was never on my mind because I have it on 360, the PC port, or the mobile port, which is perfectly fine. It plays great. But I was like, fuck it. I'm not going to spend $9 plus $9 and get two games. I'm going to spend $18 and get three games in the trilogy. Yeah. So I did. Yeah, if you don't, was, was, if you don't buy yeah. that trilogy, you're fucking up. I kind of do feel like you're fucking up if you don't get it because GTA 3 and Vice City, while still... Vice City is my least favorite out of all three, um, but it's still a good game. Don't get me wrong; it's it's basically built three built the foundation, but Vice City took it to the level that we're still on today. Yeah, just better. Um, but <clears throat> I think Vice City is my least favorite of the three. Um, but yeah, like they're still fun games to play. They're very old school. So again, Grand Theft Auto Three came out almost sixteen years ago, or uh, fifteen years ago. So. You know, and then the other two are over ten years old. So you're getting into that era of gaming, but if you never played them before, you get to see, you know, where they came from, the new games came from. So yeah, I think it was worth it for eighteen bucks for all three. If you can still get it on sale, I think it's forty five dollars for all three. It's fucking ridiculous. Yes, it's it's. it's but you it's know, your fucking up. P- people people are going to town on me about the what I feel about the price points, but you can do that. Going as well. to town. Yeah, they are. <laughs> not a lot of people like to go to town on me, but they'll go to town on me for that. Yeah. Um, it's not, not the kind of going to town I like. Yeah. But... Just, just hold that head there. Yep. Oh, yep. Yeah. There it is. So those are the games. But there's a there. lot more like... <laughs> That's the kind of going to town I like. I like that a lot. It's my favorite going to town. And then I was like, stop, I'm going to go. No. I'm going. I'm going. You're talking about blowjobs, in case anyone didn't yeah. know. Yeah, in case you're like five. In case you're like five and you fi- figured out how to fucking listen to this, I, I'm sorry for you. Well, well, let's be honest. With you. My f- a five year old can f- configure my network. <laughs> Possibly. I mean, I, I I still think you know, if I ever became a father, I feel like uh, I would be a very different father than many people are today. I would not allow my kids to do a lot of things. <laughs> Because I would want them to experience childhood without digital yeah. every four seconds. Yeah, that's... Uh, because... Oh, what's this? Your friends have a DS and you're three years old? Guess what? You have Lincoln Logs, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, you have a... Enjoy building you shit. You have etch sketch Yeah. Enjoy uh, enjoy playing with your little action figures that um, don't do... That don't have also fucking computer games attached to them. Yeah, here's... Um, you little son of a bitch. Stretch Armstrong and He Man. <laughs> yeah. And um. Oh, oh, what's this? You want to play a game? Yeah. Uh, we're gonna bust out Monopoly Junior, asshole. We're gonna play Risk, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know if a five year old can play Risk. <laughs> no, you sit him down, and he's like, "But that, that, I don't understand this game." <laughs> I'm like, "You better <laughs> fucking understand." Listen, kid, I'm gonna learn you too. Another thing or two. Yeah. Um. But yeah, like. People are like, oh, you just stay inside all day. I'm like, no, I went, I go out with friends. Uh, and when I was 10 years old, I, yeah, I played video games like Rogue Squadron. If you haven't played that, go play it. Uh, if if you're not, you're fucking up. Yeah, I mean, listen, I as a kid, I was huge into video games, but I was also huge into sports, too. I was out. Yeah, I played, time, so. I played basketball. My, uh, oh, yeah, I was huge into all sports at the time. Yeah. So, like, people want to, you know... Oh, people are fucking up. Things happen as you get older, but trust me, as a kid, I was very active. This is like his third time. Fuck. Interesting. This is the third time this I'm morning. I'm assuming you mean some dude around you is having sexual intercourse with someone yeah. of the opposite sex. And he's just pounding it on the wall. <sighs> well, sometimes you just gotta pound it out. Yeah, just gotta pound it out. <laughs> um, but yeah, like. I I think that's something that um, people just assume. Oh, you you stayed inside like a hermit. No, I I played basketball outside. <laughs> uh, when and to be honest, even if you did stay in as a hermit, are you having a good time? That's like yeah. you fucking yeah. That's all. Yeah, that matters. I, I I could be fucking your daughter. You know or no? Well, well, not your daughter because you don't have one. 
Well, I, I'm just, I didn't I didn't take that to meaning me. I'm just saying like he wouldn't know yeah. the situation with that. Yeah, just just uh, grab grab her hair, we'll hold it back. Yep. <laughs> Freak nasty. Oh lord. Um, but anyways, um, support good games, and the support good games uh, topic of this week is daylight. First. Now, this is an Austin pick, because I've heard nothing but bad things about Daylight, so go right ahead. So, uh, my good friend Anthony Gallegos worked on this game before Zombie Studios got shut down. Um, R.I.P. Zombie. They also worked on Blacklight Retribution, um, those kind of games, like those free-to-play games. Um, but the description... Oh, like Warframe. Yeah. They're probably going to get shut down pretty soon. (laughs) I don't know. I think they do pretty well for themselves. Oh, yeah, I, I guess. I guess. I haven't played it personally. I, I've, I've played I, it I, three I times. Right but you, everyone here already knows that. So, I played it on PC. I played it on PS4. played it on Xbox One. Because, <laughs> I wanted to see how long we could get the silence out. <laughs> just to see what would happen. I, I can't send the silence, man. <laughs> um, but the description as, is as follows. Ooh, you guys saw it. Damn. Uh, making me thirsty. It's water. Oh. It's water. My throat hurts. It's water. Oh. Um, the description is as follows. <clears throat> Waking up in an abandoned hospital. Hold on. I gotta do the NPR voice. Oh, Lord. With only your cell phone for illumination, you explore the institution's dark criminal past as you attempt to escape. In daylight, no two experiences are the same. And it is best played alone in the dark. Daylight introduces gamers to a procedurally generated world that replicates the horrifying nature of daylight over and over again, but creates a different environment for each new game. Each time the player begins a new game, they experience a new world with new content and encounters from the layout of the building and the things they seek to the events they encounter. It is never the like same experience twice. Until it is. Until it is. Because, as is with randomly generated things, you could randomly generate the same thing. Yeah. Twice. <laughs> That's my concern with No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky. That's, well, I mean, with No Man's, with no Man's Sky, it's there's such a giant amount of things that I think the... Oh, the... What's the word I'm looking for here? Or the phrase. The... I don't know. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> With Daylight, there's only a finite amount of things you could experience. Yeah. With No Man's Ski, there's like 5 billion things you could experience. So, take the 50 of Daylight versus the 5 billion. I think you're more likely to repeat Daylight than you are No Man's Ski. Because it's, uh, it's a sky. It's a sky full of stars. Yeah. And I want to see you. Ooh. <clears throat> Coldplay. Check it out. Where did you put your mic? Because you sound way lower now. Uh, I put it way over there. Okay, now I can hear you better. Okay. I, I'm i putting it in random places. I'm not even balancing it so it could fall over at any moment. Oh, I don't care if it falls over. Um, But um, you can play this on PS4, PC. You're, you're fucking up if you're not playing this game. Because how long does it take to complete two hours? That's like you're finding every little thing. You're yeah. Well, here I think I think when you get to the next line, you're gonna understand why you're not fucking up. Uh, you should also uh check out the platinum guide. Uh, in case and this works for Steam too. I I just put platinum guide because well nobody makes a Steam achievement guide. Sometimes, Sometimes. but not for a game like this. No, yeah, not more often than not. It's like trophies and um, for Xbox. But uh, it takes. Let's look. If I could get to it, that'd be great. Um, approximate time to one hundred percent. This is three to six hours, so you might have to play it two to three times. Yeah, oh, I would assume. Um, and then it's all. On PSN for fourteen ninety nine, and get this, it's actually lower on Steam. It's nine ninety nine on Steam. 
Yeah, it, fifteen dollars for a two-hour experience. Yeah, I don't know, man. That's probably why. They, I, I, you know, I'm actually surprised they like got a PSN release because I'm not. I'm not. Didn't they like set out to do that originally anyway? Yeah, they did, but like you figure after the reviews, um, just murder well, it. I mean, some people don't pay attention to reviews. Yeah, some people. Like I think most people don't. To be honest with you. Yeah. Well, I hope, I'd hope you're honest. So <clears throat> I know most people aren't paying. Aren't. aren't uh, I know you're. Oh, no, I was gonna say something else. But go on. Continue. What were you gonna talk about? I was just gonna talk about football uh, for a split second. Yeah. But don't worry about. Well, it. Well, dude, we've got time. We've got time. We've got at least an hour left of show. I was just gonna say I have the football game on in the background because it's the playoffs and I can't miss the playoffs, but. Do you, uh, I was going to ask you who do you who do you want to win out of today's games if you know who's playing because Carolina just ripped off, ripped off a run of like eighty yards. Um, almost scored, sports so. ball. <laughs> yeah, see that's why that's why I stopped myself because I realized it was it was the wrong audience. Yeah. Um, but like I, I there's this, like Marvel Universe live thing. It's like where they do a stage play based off Marvel characters. Uh, dude. Uh, it was in real life. Yeah. Oh lord. Yeah, that's a Disney money at work right there. It's basically. A, is this like sanctioned? Y- yeah. It's at Sprint. What is this? It's at Sprint Center. Oh, it's like oh, it's like a real thing. I thought you meant like it was like a like a fan. No, it's it's like, like legit. Oh, so it's like a real thing. It's like Marvel puts this on every year. Oh jeez. I'm like, you're fucking up. <laughs> Speaking of Marvel, um, so we'll get this out of the way, if you want to do that. Since we've been talking about Marvel a lot today. What about Marvel? Unless you've got more to say about what it. What about Marvel? I was going to say, Lego Marvel Avengers is coming out oh, yeah. next week. So how f- the week after. So yeah. how fucked do you feel about that DLC? Uh, with the Ant-Man that, that I was just about to mention? Yeah. Um, I don't necessarily feel fucked because I bo- own both systems. But now I'm going to get it on PS4 instead of Xbox One. So... For those not in the know, this is in our, in our headlines, but we'll add it, I guess. No, we don't need to add We can just talk yeah. about it. Um, so, on PlayStation blog, Ryan Clement's doing the Lord's work. Uh, except for the drop. He's fucking up on the drop. Uh, he's just fucking up. Um, but the Captain America Civil War and Ant-Man DLCs are free for all PS3 and PS4 owners. No, no Vita. Still... That's still. Oh, no one gives a shit about Vita. Let's let's stop pretending everyone cares about Vita. Let's stop pretending that people care about Vita. Everybody. Okay. I'm just saying. You're hurt. We can care about Vita. You're. But we need to stop pretending people who aren't us care about. Yeah. Vita. Um. Like. Yeah. I just think it's weird. I, I, I'm just saying, like our group of people, and I don't mean just you and me. I mean like the PlayStation elite type of people are the only people who care about Vita so we need to stop fucking talking about Vita like it's the fucking thing that deserves to be talked about no one gives a shit about Vita okay (laughs) nobody gives a shit and guess what guys neither does Sony yeah Sony so stop fucking talking about Vita like it is something Sony. because it is not. Yeah, Sony don't give a fuck. <laughs> they don't. They don't. They're eking out bullshit little by little just because they want to keep the people satisfied that do love it. But here's the thing. They're not stupid. There's a very tiny minority of people that like it, and it's the vocal minority. And the reason why everyone keeps talking about it and thinks people care about Vita is because you're talking about it in the circle that cares about Vita. Talk about Vita somewhere else where they're not video game enthusiasts and they're not going to give a shit about Vita. I can guarantee half of them don't even know what Vita is. Yeah, like they made a joke on Podcast Beyond about it. It's like, you fucking assholes. They did? Yeah. Uh, Same thing I just said? Something along that line, yeah. Well, they're smart. Uh, Those guys, I because guess. the gold bar boys on there to set them straight. <laughs> What do you say? Well, basically the same thing I just said. Uh, yeah, beyond it, but beyond. Um, but Goldfarb when IGN revealed their best Vita game, they're like, but but Persona Four, Dancing All Night. 
Oh lord, don't get me started on that bullshit. Well, he's clear. Is that what one? He was clearly joking. Man, no. Oh, is what one best Vita game? I, you know, I don't know, but it, I haven't been paying attention but to anything Vita. I I think it was like some game you could play on PS4 too. That's probably likely. But yeah, that's that's what I was that's what I was saying. Like, but but for, as far as the Lego and stuff, like. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it sucks. It's it's a timed exclusive for PlayStation. Yeah. Uh, but here's the thing. I don't know how long that time is, and I don't want to wait. And two, I, I'm guessing, because the, the Marvel, event, the event, is the Civil War stuff is just character packs. No, it's I think it's story. Because that's... No. Nope. The Civil War is just character mm-hmm. pack of nine characters. Ant-Man's characters at okay. 11. I'm hoping it has trophies attached to oh, Ant-Man. Otherwise, I don't necessarily think I care. So, because I would prefer to play this on Xbox, because I play with my girlfriend, because she likes mm-hmm. that, and she, she likes it better than she likes it better than yeah. PlayStation. She likes and she likes playing the Lego Marvel games for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but if if I find out before the game comes out and we're actually able to get it, because she's fifty fifty on it right now, um, just let me know. Because of the Amazon. Because the Amazon thing. It's 48 yeah, bucks I'm, on I'm Amazon like, if you pre-order it. I'm like, hell Prime. yeah. I'm getting Life is Strange this week. So, right. So, like... Life is Strange. Go buy it. If there's no trophy, if there's no trophy for the level, I don't know if I care that much. I love Ant-Man, but... If there's no trophy for that level, there's really kind of no point to have it added on. It's, in my opinion. Uh, I'll talk to uh, TT tonight. Yeah, let me know because I I haven't I haven't found anything saying there's going to be anything associated with those, um and and I don't know when Xbox finally gets it I don't know if it's going to cost anything it, maybe it, it will maybe it won't I don't know. four ninety nine. Yeah, because it's timed exclusive and they already have like a season pass coming out and I don't know what's in the season pass. Yeah, it's so like I'm assuming it's going to be like Lego Batman because they had trophies mm-hmm. attached to those levels. I'm hoping. And you know what, what the is. bullshit is about that? Uh, every time I go on the pre order section on PSN. For PS4, when I searched Lego Marvel Avengers, right, or even just go to the splash screen of pre-orders, you know what version of Avengers shows up? The deluxe edition. Oh, you know you're right. That's and true. same thing with Far Cry Primal. They only show the Apex edition. That is true. And I I'm like, that. oh, I see what's going on here. I see what's going on. I mean, they're not doing ne- technically anything wrong, but they're also, you know, well, it's just one of those things. Oh, oh, Caroline has up fourteen nothing. He just sent oh, okay. intercepted it. I, think. I know um, you don't care, but I guess Caroline is going still to super. trying to figure out what their Vita game is. But my Google Google's fucking up today. Ah, who cares at this point? It's, it's a Vita. No one cares about the Vita. I, I do. <laughs> Um, That's why Taco Master is popular because literally the only people that are buying it are the people who want it to do well because they need to say something good about the Vita. But yeah, with Lego <laughs> Avengers, great. I, I'm, I'm glad that that's new content. I we just found out about it l- last week, so I I really hope there's a trophy there. I mean, I don't have a problem playing it on on PS4 I, personally. I don't care one way or the okay. other. Okay, but... no, not you. Go. I was Google say, I was don't. just like, oh, now we're going to load <laughs> the best Vita game. I was going to say, if I ever get LEGO Dimensions, I'm going to get it on PS4, because uh, the thing you need needs a USB, and I don't have a port available on Xbox. And the port, uh, if the ports are in the back, and the way my Xbox is set up, I can't easily put it anywhere. So the PS4 ports are in the front, I can just easily fucking put yeah. it Yeah. Um, for those wondering... Their Vita game of the year. This is immense bullshit. Ollie Ollie 2. Welcome to Ollie. What the fuck? See, this is what I'm talking about, dude. Nothing came out on Vita, and that's the game that won. Yeah. I don't mean nothing came out on Vita. You understand what I mean by that. Shovel Knight. Didn't Shovel Shovel Knight came out on... Right, that's why I can't can't agree with that, because Shovel Knight came out on other systems last year. Or, I'm sorry, 2014. I don't feel like you can do that in a game a year. If a game is already out and it gets finally released on a system, I don't feel like you can say it. That's, it's that's why that I didn't year. include Grim Friend, uh, Fandango. Or... Right, and that's why I didn't include some other things for my stuff because they've it came out 
prior to... Whatever. Yeah, like, I don't include remasters unless we do a specific category for remasters. Oops. Right, exactly. That's why I didn't have Resident Evil on my list, because it's a remaster. Yeah. It came out a decade plus ago, so it got an honorable mention. It didn't get a spot, because it's in, like, Resident Evil Zero that's coming out next week, or this yeah, week Yeah, two now. days. Uh, yeah, it's never going to get a Game of the Year nomination for me because it's a yep. remaster. It's... it's a great game, but it's never going to get a Game of the Year nod because it's already out. Yeah, they came out in, like, 2000 or something. 2002, oh, maybe. That's a, a, a lot later than I thought. Um, but anyways, uh... Hitman. You know that game? I've heard of it. It's now fully I episodic. I believe we had an exchange about this. Oh, we did. Uh, uh, Twitter.com slash Austin Belzer, or Twitter.com slash Heezy. Um, or at Heezy or Austin Belzer. So, um, basically, I'm not even going to read this article, um, because I already know what happened here. Um, so, they took it off PSN for a day. And they said, hey... There's some technical things we have to work out, and, you know, the, something changed, right? Yeah, the game changed, the, the, so we, we're canceling your pre-order. Yeah, the game changed, we're canceling your pre-order. But they never said they were giving your money back, which is weird. Um, well, I think I think that's implied. Yeah. Um, so now people have to pre-order it again. <laughs> um, anyways, uh... Um, but now it's fully episodic. You, that intro pack that we were talking about, that's going to be that little appetizer, that little tenth, little tenth. Yeah, and, like, that's what, I always assumed it was episodic to begin with, so this is Yeah, because it's like... It's episodic anyway, they're just, I guess they're just changing the way the episodes Yeah, like, I kind of thought about that, and I was like, okay, yeah, I guess it could be episodic, and then I saw the news, I was like, alright. About what I expected. Yeah. Um, things I did not expect, though, is this next news article. Huh. Activision hires longtime Tarantino producer to co lead team and TV and film division of Activision. Activision's getting laid like fucking crazy with everything. Yeah, right? like. They're throwing their money and weight around. They can throw, like, Call of Duty money around. I guess. Well, it's not just Hall of Duty. It's fucking it's Warcraft. Skylanders, too. Oh, yeah, there you go. I forgot about that, too. Because, because Activision and Blizzard are actually producing that. They're, they're consulting, but they're not... Wait, they're, they don't, they're not... They are Skylanders. Activision are Skylanders. No, the, not on um, Warcraft, though. Oh, 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 I gotcha, I gotcha. That, that's legendary thing. They're just like... Well, no, but I mean I mean the, the game. Yeah. Um, that's where they're getting their money from. Oh, you know, yeah, that's where they get the mic from. That, um, oh, what's that new expansion? Legion. They're getting that Legion expansion money. Or Warlords of Draenor. I don't know why I know all these words. <laughs> because I, I... Because you you pretend to like it. I, I, I played it for like ten minutes, and I'm like, alright, it's cool. Alright, fine. Whatever. Um, so, yeah, what do you think about this? I, I guess we have to see what they're gonna do with it, but I mean, it because seems like Activision is just like they just bought King for yeah. six billion dollars, fucking crazy. But I get it. You don't want to build something; you want to take something. Fine. Uh, they just bought MLG. You don't want to. What's so funny? I, let me send you this photo that they, okay. on the Polygon article. <laughs> So yeah, you you don't you uh, just bought MLG. You don't want to create your own, uh, you know, esport. You 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 want to take it. Fine, you got it. Now they're doing movie stuff. Like they're getting so. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? They're not getting too big for their britches because it's Activision. But I they mean, are. they're branching out. They're well, they they could depending on how all this stuff works. They're branching out and. Um, they want to do way more than just games. Yeah. They want to do way more than just games. So, good for them, I guess? Yep. Look at the, look at all those Skylanders. Yeah, look at all the Skylanders and how 
unhappy she looks. Yeah, I don't. That's a weird picture. It's uh, if anyone's listening, uh, you know, it's the it's the picture in the article. So if you want to click on the article or find the article or whatever, but um, yeah, she looks. She looks like it. Yeah. Pleasant to be there. Happy to be. She there. looks like. Yeah, I'm getting a paycheck. <gasps> yeah, it's. And then the, the Disney executive it, it, who's in the fuck. He kind of does look the same. Like this is a, clearly a fake smile. He's just like. But he's he's putting a little bit more into it. <laughs> he's you can. It, hers is like she doesn't want to be there and she's not trying to hide it. His is like I don't want to be here, but let's try to amp it up a little bit. Let's try to make it seem like I care, but you can clearly tell I don't. Well, people at Disney are masters of faking it. I'm sh- I'm sure. Uh, they just uh, Activision also and Nintendo just finally came out with the uh, with the dual pack of the um, the Skylanders Nintendo mm-hmm. amiibos that they said would never be released <laughs> or if they did I don't remember I, I don't remember them saying that but to where like Bowser and uh, the Donkey Kongs that you can only get with the starter packs are now separately yeah but they're fucking expensive as shit so good job guys with that yeah and you can play that on Apple TV which is weird ew gross yeah well I didn't say it was good. <laughs> Um, yeah, you did. You told me so privately. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, but the last news article for the week is this is surprising to me. Homefront, Homefront: The Revolution has been confirmed for May seventeenth. Th- this surprised me in the sheer fact that it's actually coming out this year. <laughs> um, because like right now, hype level. Six. Yeah, this game is not on my horizon at all. N- not on. I may play it. Not on your uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Top ten you. of the year for me. Top you. number one of the year for me. Yeah, it's it's the Horizon's definitely on mine, but there's a reason why I didn't include it because it's not in my top ten. But I definitely want to play it. But also, I kind of feel like it's gonna get pushed, so I didn't want to include it. Oh yeah, it's, I it, I really think it's gonna get pushed. Um. Well, you should read it. You should read my article. I did. Oh, you did? Of course I did. I read everything. I just I even read your cancer article today. Uh, well, that dragon cancer. <laughs> <laughs> I did that on purpose. <laughs> you know, I, 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 speaking about that, I kind of, <laughs> I, I almost went for like this whole paragraph of where I was like, yeah, a lot of people I know died from cancer and David Bowie died from cancer and all these people are dying from cancer and it sucks. But I'm like, you know, that that would be like okay. This is more of a commentary at that point. Yeah, there's no there was no need for that. Uh, because I saw. I mean, I know people have died for cancer. I've, I've had people in my family die of cancer. Isn't what it is. Because I saw a lot of people including that in their reviews, and I'm like, all right. No. Oh really? Yeah. Oh no, I, there's no need for that. Or, and, in my opinion, there's. No and need for I went that. to IGN to look at their review, and I was like, wait a minute. IGN probably gave it a ten out of ten. They gave it an eight. Oh wow! Well. Or no, I, games. I, Gamespot gave it a nine. Um, yeah, I was gonna say between those two, anyone in San Francisco, I feel like is gonna give it like a a, a glowing fucking. I know you did too. But, I give it an A plus. I just mean, right? I just mean like in that climate of how they are in that that part of the country. Yeah, I feel like these types of games are literally just made for them, and th- these kind of games will just always garner that, especially the way they treated Gone Home. Yeah, like one of the most overrated bullshit games of the year of, of all time. By the way, let's just get that out okay. right now. Uh, don't. I know. I know you fucking love the game. That's why. I'm by by Gone Home console I do edition. Feel that way. Nope. Get the fuck out of here. Well, no, just for the fact that so uh, Fulbright can fund their next game. Fulbright can always all can already fund their next game. This console edition is not helping them do anything. Yeah, but I'd like to see weirder games from them. Um, like Tacoma. It's on my list, I think. Um, actually, yeah, it is. Um. But um, Homefront: The Revolution it's 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 reemerged from development hell. Um, you know when I saw the leak, uh, well it's not really a leak, but it was just like oh hey I went to Target and I saw this Homefront card that said May seventeenth. Um, like that's literally all it was. But um, I was like there's no way this game's coming out in May. The next day, Homefront: The Revolution. Out May seventeenth. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> okay, um, that's interesting because I was pretty sure that game had restarted development. But 
It did. Yeah, and I'm like, how did you turn that around in a year? Uh, I don't know. I think I think it was a lot further along than people realized. Yeah, but like, it, it looks like the same game I saw at E3 2015. Well, I didn't see it, but I saw gameplay of it. But um, it's very basically the same game. It's just this new studio, I guess. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I've I pre-ordered it, so uh, Amazon still has updated the release date. <laughs> they still think. Oh, it's not coming out this year. <laughs> um, but uh, I want to quickly mention that Amazon Prime thing really quick because I think it's really cool. Because I had it on our original list, but and I was like, with the Pokemon tournament thing, but I was like, yeah, or I was like, oh well, we Pokemon tournaments in March, guys. If you really March eighteenth, yeah, I was gonna I was gonna make them do work for, but there you go. Okay, yeah, there you go. well, <laughs> yeah. Um, but I, I had Amazon call me, because I ordered a shit ton of games. Do you, I will go down the list for you. I, honestly, the night that that was going on, when they were finally putting all those games up, and, you know, Wario was putting all that shit out, nobody knew specifically that this was going to happen. Mm-hmm. They all assumed, but they didn't know. I kept ordering a whole bunch of shit, because I didn't know if it was going to be an accident. Mm-hmm. As Amazon does, sometimes they accidentally do these for games. Yeah. And then the next day they're like, yeah, this is going on. It's different than Best Buy. It's clearly to combat Best Buy. Yeah. But Best Buy is $30 for two years. But it's anything video games you get 20% off. Amazon's is just pre-orders on games. Yeah, and new releases. And the Amiibos. And new releases. Oh, really? So, it's, so it's like the releases? week of, yeah. Okay, well, yeah, well, right, exactly. That, yeah, that's, that's true. I forgot so. That. that is true. But it's not like Best Buy where you can walk in right now and since GTA Five came out in 2014, you can get it for 20% yeah. off. It's not like it, that. It's just like, hey, you want a new game? Here, here's 20% off. Um, right. But here are my pre-orders. It's 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 a, it's a long... I don't want to go through my list. It's fucking yeah. huge. And I'm not going to buy any of the games. I, I just put them on there because... I, I, I am want. buying every single one of these <laughs> games. Um... I want, that's what we rephrase. I want okay, to buy this game, yeah. but I'm probably not going to um, go for it. Gravity point. Rush Remastered. Um, Mighty Number no. 9. Assassin's Creed Chronicle Trilogy Pack. Because, Gross. well, I was just like, I'm, I saw India this week, and I'm like, I, I might I might cancel this one. but I think you should, because I don't think you really care about Assassin's Creed the way they um, want you to. E, EA Sports UFC 2. I loved EA Sports UFC on the Xbox One. Uh, I can't wait to see Ronda Rousey get her ass beat. <laughs> um, I, I really want to watch UFC, man. I really do. But it's just so damn expensive. Like $200 for a fight. It's ridiculous. Yeah. I think, I think. Yeah, no. Last time I checked. Um, MLB sh- The Show 16, MVP edition. Um, it, it's the same price as the regular, so I was like, alright. Whatever. Um, Street Fighter Five. Deus X. Did you do this, the collector's edition for Street Fighter? No. That's also 20% off. Okay. Um, I, I'm not about to pay $150. Because they actually have a game. I thought it was 100 Um, Well, they sell a, one with the fighting stick. Oh, um, gotcha. I was just talking about the one with no, the statue. No, um, I'm not, I don't care about statues. I've got enough statues. Of the, I do. I'm a huge fan of statues. Um, and then Deus X Mankind Divided. Um, Quantum Break. Republic. Yeah. Republic Remastered. Um, Ratchet and Clank. Mafia 3, which also got a release date announcement, but it's not official. Um, Halo Wars 2. Rise of the Tomb Raider. Hitman. Dead Island 2. The Witch and the Hundred Night Revival Edition. Uh, Homefront the Revolution. Life is Strange Limited Edition. Uh, Uncharted 4, A Thief's End, Tom Clancy's The Division, in case we don't get it. Um, all of these are like, in case we don't get it. Um, Mirror's Edge Catalyst, Gran Turismo Sport, Shadow Warrior 2, uh, Gears of War 4, you'll love this next one. South Park, The Fractured Butthole. I was gonna, um, yep. Yep. For Honor. It's on mine. Why not? Um, Final Fantasy 15. Crackdown 3, 
uh, Dishonored 2, Doom, Recore, uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands, uh, Scalebound, Near Automata, The Last Guardian, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Mega Man Legacy Collection, because it's uh, got some special things in the box, and Far Cry Primal. So, I have a lot. But yeah, I don't have that many. Uh, the, dude, dude from I put Paper Jam in there, but I'm uh, not doing that. Dude from Amazon why. in India called me. He's like, "Hey, um, you put a order down for a thousand dollars?" And I'm like, "Yeah, but I'm not paying it right now. So, <laughs> like, I'm paying when it ships. So, step yeah. the fuck off, little little Indian fuck yeah, boy." Wild. I, I didn't say that to his face, but that's really what I wanted to say. <laughs> yeah, sure. but he would be like, he didn't know that, like, just to exemplify how bad Indian customer service is, he didn't know that you pay for it when it ships. He didn't know. To be honest, I do speak with a lot of Amazon customer service people through the through the chat app. Thing. Yeah, I wish I um, did that. And they do seem to not know how a lot of things work. And then they'll they'll like go away, and then it'll be correct. Like they'll they'll confirm. Just like yeah, mm, mm, yes, yeah, so it's um, um, we have uh, checked with our superiors, and yep, that checks out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you if you saw recently over uh, before New Year's, uh, after Christmas, before New Year's, I had ordered something, and well, and. they they fucked up. Like it was it should have shipped before and gotten here for Christmas, but. Long story short is I was on chat for over an hour, and there were many, like, ten-minute breaks between when they should be talking to me, and they weren't even doing anything. Yeah. Um, so, and yeah. The, they've also changed uh, shipping carriers, too. Because uh, both of my recent Amazon packages came through FedEx, and it usually comes through UPS or USPS. Interesting. So, I don't... Well, if it's overnight, that might be why. Well, the guitar alive was overnight. Well, yeah, that's probably why. They typically, with it, if it's overnight, they'll because be I had the uh, t- table coming that next day, and I had some parents coming over, so I was like, "All right, well, I don't want them to know how much money I'm spending." Um, well, you're an, you're an adult now; they yeah. don't need to know. Uh huh. Like she was in the closet with the where I put my uh, plastic guitar in it, and she saw it. All. I was just like, <laughs> um. But let's talk about what went live this week. Oh, as my legs die inside. I, and I've also got to go to the grocery store still. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm fucking up, Chris. I'm fucking up. Some people like to fuck up. I don't know what to tell you. Well, let me... I've been noticing a lot lately. A lot um, of fuck-ups. But first, we've got uh, that Dragon Cancer review. Um, I put that up. I gave it an A+. Plus. Um, I know you can't see me now, but whatever. I, I could never see actually. you now. Maybe, maybe, it's okay. maybe that'll it. work. Doing sexy Burt Reynolds pose. Uh, I like to call that the Sansa. Deadpool. <laughs> um, but, um, we also get this. We have it fucked up this week. Because we are on YouTube now. And we're on Twitch now. YouTube. Well, we were before. Well, we were, but you didn't know about it. Um, we have new art and shit, too. Um, but if you want to check us out on YouTube, it's the vertical slice. It's the easiest thing. You might not be able to find us yet. I don't know why. Um, but I'll embed the YouTube link um, to make sure that you can find it. Because we don't have a custom URL yet. Because we're not cool. We've put, like, zero videos out on that channel, so... Hey. Um, but if you want to go to Twitch, go to twitch.tv slash, uh... Vertical Slice Live. And those last four letters, live, are all caps. But it doesn't matter. Like, you can just type it all lowercase. And it would still work. Um, we've also revealed a new logo that you should have seen by now. If not, guess what? You're, You're fucking up. Yeah. Fuck you. 
Um, because we also updated it on SoundCloud, so there's literally no way you can't see it. Well, is it updated on iTunes? It, it updated on iTunes? Oh, I'm asking, is it? Um, let me look. I don't, I don't know about iTunes, but uh, let's check Pocket Casts. That's what I use for podcasts. Uh, but, but, uh, refresh artwork. How do I do that? I forgot about that. Podcast settings. Refresh artwork. Refresh art. Yep. Sweet. Yeah, it's, it's all new and spiffy. So by the time you see this, you click on it, and you're just like, whoa. It whoa. looks... Designed, Maybe. designed, all our graphics are designed by the lovely Tom Hawkins. Only cost us 50 bucks. I expected 350, <laughs> if I'm gonna be honest. And I was super happy, um, that it did not cost that much, but I still would have paid it. Because nice. I'm, uh, because I'm a moron. Um, but, uh, seriously though, like, I would have paid $400, e- even if I'm not bad with money. <laughs> Because I'm like, we need... <laughs> but, um... I also put up my top 10 most wanted in 2016 list. Um... Just to give you a quick, uh... Thing, um... Let's see what those top 10 are. Let's click on that link. Well, I think you should let people look at them, not yeah. tell them what they are. Alright, well... I think they should, if they want to know, they should go... They should go to the vertical slash 2016 slash 01 slash 12 slash Austin. Just, just, go to, <laughs> just go to the vertical slash dot com and look up our 2016. It, yeah, it's like the third article down, I think. Um, and then I post. It's not difficult to find if they really try. Yeah. Like you can see like 100 posts on a page, so. Yeah. Um, you can see stuff back from like August. It's weird. Um, I kind of want to put a page feature in there. Um, like so page. You can see 25 uh, articles, and then you're like, see more. Yeah. Um, but we'll do that in May. Look forward to that announcement uh, when that happens, because that's when our contract goes up with WordPress. So I'm definitely going to have new things then, and uh, my wallet will cry of tears. Um, But Amplitude Review, I give it a... I think B plus, C plus, something like that. B plus, I think. I, I think it's B plus, yeah. Oh no, what, what was, I don't, I don't remember. You know, I think it was a B plus, yeah, because it was like uh, a big thing for me was I was expecting licensed music, and some of the controls were pretty wonky. Um, and then Heezy, you put out lists too. <laughs> I did. And I want to be clear with everybody: this is not going to be a thing all the time. We're not just going to be like IGN and be like, the top point five PlayStation 4 games in 2015. Um, Maybe I will be. Maybe that's exactly, that's exclusively what I'm going to do. Yeah, you better start writing, asshole. <laughs> How dare you. Uh, I love you, though. Um, How dare you. Because I was actually just about to ask you the other day, like, why you don't write articles? <laughs> um, because, um, but for real, I'm going to write M- many more articles. I've just been fucking up lately. Because I don't think news articles is my strength. Yeah, because... Well, but you do, you do pretty good on the Fallout Force. <laughs> well, that's because I put my own thoughts into them. I don't think, like, just having news and just typing the news... Well, you can... My you, 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 do, you could do opinion pieces. Well, that's what I, that's what I think. There's yeah. also a lot of other reasons. Yeah, because I'm gonna put out a video a few days from now. Um, maybe Monday. Who knows? Um, on where the next gen games are, the true next gen games are. I think they're here. No, I mean like the one that you possibly couldn't make on PS4. I mean, PS3 and Xbox. Yeah, I think they're here already. I think they're here. I'm th- I'm thinking about like that new idea, right? We'll wait for your video to see what you say. Yeah, uh, because I'm gonna bring up things like Titanfall, Watch Dogs, Guitar Hero Live. Um, gonna bring. I believe, up, it's, called, I believe it's called uh, Guitar Hero Live. Live, because you gotta live inside the game. <laughs> because there's sort of achievement for like, um, I'm sorry, trophy, um, for um, logging into Guitar Hero Live five, five days in a row. 
Interesting. Um, but yeah, you posted uh, your top ten most wanted in 2016 list. Yes, my uh, top ten is uh, different than yours. A lot of, you know, I honestly didn't expect there to be so many Xbox exclusives in that category. In mine or yours? In mine. Because I... Well, there's a lot of Xbox exclusives. Because I put uh, Recore, Scalebound, which... Uh, bef- I wrote that before it got delayed to 2017. Well, yeah, they... Yeah, that was... Um, well, actually, did I put that in my... I, I put Crackdown 3 and Recore and Crackdown... Uh, Recore or Crackdown 3... Something else. A, a big one. I can't remember it. But it's not, uh... Phantom Dust. No. <laughs> it won't be Phantom Dust for a while. Until 2019. Um, but let's look at those new releases. I forgot to put this in last night. Do you, um, do you want to know what the other one was? What? For your Xbox, it was Quantum Break. Oh, Quantum Break, yeah. It was, I think, the, my third pick. It was number four. Oh. Um, number three was, well, okay, we'll, we'll let people... Yeah, we'll let, we'll let people not fuck up. Yeah. Um, Don't fuck... Honestly, uh, to be honest with you... the. Though my list of it, um, things took me a long time to do because I actually put effort into them. I'm not saying don't give me that look. I'm not bashing you. I'm just saying I have a problem when it comes to this kind of stuff, which is another reason why I haven't written a lot of articles because not only is there a lot of mental problems going on in my brain right now, but but bullshit aside, uh, my own bullshit aside, like I have a a. I don't. It's not. It's not perfectionist, but I feel like I have to do certain things a certain way, and if I don't do them that way, I deliberate and I look through things and I try to do things a specific way, and it takes me a long time to get that vision down. Yeah. So those cool. articles took me an entire day to do. To do. Took me like three. Three hours. Well, I'm sure. Three days. Uh, well, because yeah, I but, I had to make the list. Just right, but like with the... you, you have other things going on. I don't. I'm telling you, I'm talking about, like, it took me 24 straight hours to actually put those together. Oh, okay. Because I, it might not seem like a lot of work went into them. Well, there's, but, there was a lot of me just sitting down, like, in my honorable mentions, I was like, well, that game could be in my top ten, but I was like, yeah, I'm not that excited about the game. Well, that's another thing, too. Like, I had to understand what I wanted to say. I had to understand what I wanted, what I felt. I had to get my list going properly. I had to find pictures that I thought were good enough to use. I didn't want to... I had to find things to, you know... Trust me. It sounds more... It sounds more pathetic than it was. But... (laughs) That's okay. I I, I used to put down uh, three articles a day on thebladedtechshow.com, which is now not a site anymore because I didn't pay the $79, because that's bogus. Um, I'll probably just end up copying the code. Anyways, um... But yeah, like, I put time into photoshopping images and things like that, uh, and that takes time. Yeah, that takes... People don't want to understand that. They used to take me an hour. Oh, right. Sometimes, and like, I had to find the right, you know, pictures I wanted to use, and some of them didn't have photoshopping, but some of them did, and a lot of them did, actually. Um, all of them did, actually, because I put words into them, but like... That stuff takes time. If you're not as proficient as I am, and you're not crazy, plus I also had to work out what I wanted to say about each thing. And I tried to put a theme into everything, and trust me, my mental capacity goes... It's hard for me to do certain things. Yeah. And that these things take me a long time. Those articles I write take me a long time because I deliberate too much. I go back over and over and over things. and So yes, that's why there's not a lot of things written for me, but when I do, it's, it takes me a long time to do it. Yeah, it's fine, bro. That's why. I don't know why I just called you bro like I was a Californian fuckboy. Well, you are a fuckboy, but that's a different yeah. side of the country. Yeah. <laughs> um, so here are the new games coming out. Um, not a lot of good ones, but there are some games. <laughs> um, first, Five Star Wrestling Regenesis for PS4. Oh my god. PS4 digital title. Uh. Oh, well, this one's actually good. A, po- a Boy and His Blob. PS4, Xbox One, and, uh, I think, PC, I think. Um, 
I think it's coming on Vita too. Yeah, Vita, uh, January twenty first. Um, so we it's the it's a re, it's a re, uh, it's the remake the Wii, yeah. va- Wii version. Yeah, it's the Wii version. Which I played for about five minutes when the Wii came out, but it was uh, fun. I, I'm gonna. I kind of want it, but I think it's gonna be twenty bucks, and that's. Yeah. I, mean, I don't have any money anyway, but that's uh, I I don't think I I would be willing to pay that. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't know, but I do I do want to peg this in it down as a game I'm probably gonna play. Yeah, I'm interested. I'm definitely interested. I definitely um, play it. Then the Western G- JPR JRPG name if I've ever heard of one. Atlier Esha and Logi Plus Alchemist of the Dusk Sky for PS4 Vita PS4 Vita title PS Vita fuck. PS, PS Vita digital title. And, yeah, that's only a digital release. So that's telling. Um, this is a game I've been hearing about. Attractico? I don't know what that is. You can... The description reads, it's a PS4 digital title. It's exclusive. Um, change gravity and solve deadly puzzles in this addictive first-person puzzle platform video game. That does too many adjectives, sir. Um, baseball Riot plus trial comes to PS4 and Vita this week. It's a digital cross buy title. So yay. Uh, another JP- JRPG sounding name Cruxlier Sigma PS4 digital title. Oh, look at this Dark Cloud 2 PS2 classic on PS4. Interesting. Mm. The Deadly Tower of Monsters. What's this? Looks cool. Green screen, lasers, and a tower full of deadly monsters. Oh my god, this name. <laughs> when Dick Starspeed crash lands on his rocket on the planet of Gravoria. This is my kind of game. <laughs> we'll have to fight through dinosaurs. <laughs> Nuclear ant, but guess, guess how they spell it. In UK, U-L-A-R. Jesus. This is my kind of game. And other skilled costume stuntmen to make it uh to make it up the Deadly Tower of Monsters. And Inside My Radio comes to PS4 as a digital title. Uh we all know about this one, so it already came out on Xbox One, so you're, you're fucking late, PS4. Well Um Oh, this might be a cool game. Klaus. Klaus is a precision-based pl- puzzle platform platformer with a self-aware narrative and u- unique PS4 touch-based controls. This is for me. This is for me. It is for you. They're cool. literally... They should just put Austin right in uh, yeah, they the title. Yeah, sh- they should... Uh, Klaus Austin edition. Uh, seriously, though. That, I want to see gameplay of this. See how it plays. Uh, I'm not gonna buy it because I'm buying Life of Strange this week. Um, speaking you, of, see, you already own that. That's a waste of money, in my opinion. Well, I I want the vinyl pressing. I figured that. And the unused concept art because I want to see where the story could have gone. Um, but yeah, the Life of Strange is coming to retail this week. I'm not gonna bother saying what platform because it's a, it's already can't come out. So, uh, uh ooh. Oddworld, new and tasty. PS Vita. Yeah. D- digital title. Well, but the thing is, like, I, I don't care that it's on Vita, but it's cool. But it is. Yeah, but I mean, it's already... We, we got it for free on PS4. Come on. Yeah. So now you get it for free. For Vita? Do you really? Yeah, it's three-word it cross by. Oh, good. Um, oh, not this game again. Not this... Oh, fuck. Red game without a great name. Oh, fuck this game, fuck this game, fuck this game. What is this? Red Game Without a Great Name. Okay. The description... I I don't know what that is. This game makes me so mad. I I sold this on PC a few weeks ago when I was writing the new releases, which I swear to you, it's coming back this week. I will not miss it. (laughs) Um, I was playing video games. I was moving in. I'm sorry. Don't kill me. (laughs) Um... Red Game Without a Great Name is a 2D puzzle arcade game where you control a mechanical bird carrying a secret message. Your goal is to deliver a letter to the recipient's cage, actually, to 60 of them. 
It won't be an easy task. You will have to face different traps along the way, including barbed wire, windmill blades, spikes, and many others. So yeah, it's a shitty ga game without a great name and shitty gameplay. And uh, this is coming from the dude who played a game about cancer, so... Fuck me, you right? You did play a game about cancer. And I didn't have cancer, so fuck you. <laughs> um, oh, Resident Evil uh, Zero comes out this week. Uh, yeah. PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PC, your grandma can play it. But I wouldn't recommend it. Um, it also comes out as Origins Collection, which bundles... One, uh, one and zero together. Which um, is an amazing deal. You should get that if you don't have them Yeah, already. it's like 40 bucks. It's, 40 bu it's, basically, it's basically a disc version of both games. Each game is 20 bucks by themselves. So yeah. if you want it on disc and you haven't bought Resident Evil 1 yet, this is definitely the way to go. Yeah, this is only retail, so yeah. no digital bundle here. Sorry. Didn't. Well, yeah, I mean, it's basically just a digital. I mean, di digitally, you can just buy them separately and it's the same thing. So Yeah. And then Stardust Vanguard, so I know we talked about this a few weeks ago. Um, it, it's already out on PC, so I won't bother. Tachyon Project looks like a bitch-ass game. Um, ooh, a new Batman game. A new Batman video comes out. But save that for private time later. Um, new Batman animated thing. Um, Batman Bad Blood. Um... Cause now we got bad blood. You know it used to be mad love. Hi. Um, but anyways, to close us out, um, can I just say two things? We'll just yeah. throw this on at the end, just because yeah. I, I don't think they're really worth mentioning too much. Um, other than you can now put Rock Band One's soundtrack into Rock Band Four. Yeah, I saw that. And I, then, I just um, know many people care about it. Well, yeah, I mean, we just talked about Rockman, so I figured I'd just say it in case people cared. Yeah. Uh, and then also, they we saw some screenshots of the TMNT game for Platinum. I saw that, and I wanted to be like... I don't know how I feel about it. As I, a huge TMNT fan as I am, I don't know how I feel about it. I, I got For hurt. a lot of reasons. I got hurt uh, out of the shadows. Yeah, there's that. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know how I feel about the art style. I don't know how I feel about the people making it. I'm I, optimistic, but cautiously. I definitely love the art style. Um, I'm not a big fan that Platinum is making it. I'm not at all. Um, but. Because it's um, going to be like, you are just uh, fucking beat up dudes. Yeah, I, I, I don't like that Platinum's making it. I mean, hopefully it'll be good. But uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Cell Shade, to me, I think I need to see an emotion Mm -hmm. before I give a full They'll thumbs fight. up on it, because I feel like cell shading in a screenshot doesn't, doesn't work. necessarily tell you the, the story. Because Borderlands looks fine, I guess. I think Borderlands looks good in screenshots, but I don't like the way it runs. Yeah, because it's like, uh, alright. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I, I just I need to see more. I'm a major fan of the Turtles, but... I don't know. I, I have to. I have to find more. I have to see more than just you know the the tiny bit we've gotten so far. Yeah. 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 Um. But you can find us at Vert Slice Tweets. I didn't fuck it up this time. Nope. At Austin Belzer. At Heezy. Uh. You can find us on what is this? What link is this? Facebook dot com slash vertical slice. You can email us at podcast at the vertical slice dot com. You can find me at Instagram at Austin Belzer. On us, uh, Xbox Live as Bladed Tech, but only in April. Um, Bladed Tech PS on the PSN, uh, Bladed Tech on Steam, uh, the Bladed Tech Show on YouTube, and you can find the Vertical Slice on YouTube as well as Twitch. Um, and Heezy, it's just Heezy, and then Heezy USA for um, PSN, Zombie Heezy for Xbox Live. And who is worth checking out this week? Since CES just wrapped up, uh, I figured, why not TheVerge.com? Because, because gadgets. They're, they're gadgets. wonderful. Gadgets. Gadgets and gadgets and goo. Ooh, I don't know about the goo part. Yeah, just goo all over that drone. Goo all over that drone. Fucking cum buckets. He, yep, he did it. By the <laughs> way, in case anyone cares, at this, at this moment, it looks like... Uh... <laughs> 
It's like Carolina is completely embarrassing Seattle. It's twenty four to nothing in the second quarter with eleven minutes left. They're fucking up. Oh, Seattle is totally fucking up. Yeah, but you know, it's just showing that Seattle might be a pretender and Carolina might be a contender. There's but we'll find out. out. We'll find out. We'll Who find knows? out. We'll find out by next week. We'll find out. Well, I, I feel like whoever wins this game is the one that's going to the Super Bowl. So obviously, I think Carolina is going to the Super Bowl at this point. Yeah, Sweet Home uh, Carolina. No, Go Pats. That, that Go hit, Patriots. That hit song, Sweet Home Carolina. <laughs> Yeah, my my Patriots beat uh, Austin's Chiefs this week. Yeah, and uh, I almost wanted to comment on your Facebook post, Austin versus Heezy. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I we all knew that was going to happen, but you know, yeah, it's just that's uh, neither here nor there. I was pulling my punches. <laughs> um, did they actually do good? I didn't watch it. I saw a lot of drunken Chiefs fans. Who? Okay. The Chiefs, uh, I don't know. It depends on how 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 you're qualifying the, it. This girl was outside the Power Might District, a version of a. Any bar section of downtown, right? And she was just yelling at the top of our, her lungs outside this bar. And she was like, fuck yeah, you suck a dick. I was like, Jesus I'll Christ, just, uh, I'll say this. What, the, the Chiefs were down two scores, two touchdowns, with like five minutes left to go. And I was just so baffled of how shitty of a job they were with clock management that... At that point, I was kind of rooting for them to do better. It was weird. I like I wanted them to fucking hurry their asses up and score. It was weird. Because fuck the Chiefs. Sorry to distract from your uh, interesting sports ball conversation. Go Patriots. But uh, fuck you with sports ball. the Steam Daily Deal today is The Wolf Among Us. It's 75% off. If you don't buy that game, you're fucking up. Wolf Among Us is great. The Wolf Among Us season two. The worst season two, you fucks. I, I asked Job, and he's like, "Our lips are sealed." Winky face. Of course face. they are. Uh, better tell us at E3, or I'm coming for you, Job. I will light Tesla games on fire. Oh, he, you heard you heard it here first. You better run. Jan- Sunday, January seventeenth at two o'clock. PM Eastern time. You better run out of San Rafael, California, because guess who? He's literally coming to set your building on fire with you in it. Yeah, uh, because I'll be at E3, motherfucker. I will come. He will be there, and he will murder you all. He says. I will come to your booth and be like, Joe. Real talk, you're fucking up. <laughs> he, you might even have a restraining order situation available at this point. And, once you hear this, and we won't get any you other may games. be able to get police involved with <laughs> the rhetoric he's spitting right now. And uh, if Sony Ben doesn't release their or announce their game, I will let the like their state on fire. Uh, there, he's now threatened two major studios in video game industry. And Horizon? You might, you might be able to get the FBI on this if you really want to. I'm just saying you have a case here. And Horizon Zero Dawn? That doesn't come out this year? <laughs> you, 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 he said he's going to fly to Japan and murder everyone in Sony, which is weird because I don't think Horizon's coming out of Japan. So I think he's misguided in what he's doing, but he has an agenda, and trust me, you don't want to read his manifesto. And also, change the name from... Uh, change either Bound or Boundless. Uh, change the names. Shoo, let us change our names. He's he's lukewarm on this one. You can let this one slide. If anyone is coming after him, you can let this one slide. www.betterpsn.com Just saying. As the, as the train rolls by. As the train rolls by on this uh, lovely snowy six degree day. 60 degrees and it's snowing? I don't think that's uh, what weather I works. said six, motherfucker. I thought you said 60. No, it's like I looked at my weather app this morning. I'm like, oh, it's six degrees. Good thing I have three layers of blankets. <laughs> I don't think it's that cold here. I think it's in the thirties. Yeah. Get pneumonia and I'm just like, well, it's six degrees outside and I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt. <laughs> is it is that a shot at me? Yeah, a little bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Um this train's fucking up. But that was the vertical slice number twenty three. Does Bill Cosby own a Vita? Uh you can subscribe to us on iTunes. Uh and if you enjoyed it. Did did y'all enjoy it? Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm a I'm a I'm a lovely person. I'm a I'm a treasure. Yeah, which that's what I I mean that's what I've been told. I'm a treasure to behold. Well, I mean we're just killing time till we hit the three hour mark, but we're not gonna hit it. So why the fuck not? Let's not do that. Let's <laughs> let's not let's, not, let's not just bullshit for thirty minutes. Um, let's certainly not talk about the fact that I 
went to Redbox drunkenly and uh, bought God of War 3 Remastered and Sniper Elite 3. <laughs> you want to talk about people fucking up? I think we found found a, per- a perfect example. Yeah, just look at my face. Even face. even though it's not video, you'll turn to stone. Um, I'm 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 not, I'm not Medusa. <laughs> I don't. I can't. I can't confirm or deny that. <laughs> look at me. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, rate us and review us on iTunes if you really enjoy it. The three of you out there that will actually listen to it, um, please be excited for next week. And with that, we're out.